church. Oh, hot day. I'm not. E- I'm not even trying. We're live right now. I'm not even going to try today. Oh man. <laughs> oh hello. I, I just want to get on the air because we were. Uh, we just kept talking and talking. I knew we'd never get on the air unless we uh, just went on the air. So hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> This is the best intro yet. That's the best one by far. That's how I should just do it every yeah. time. It's like, uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what are we talking about, too? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we're talking about uh, oh, living, uh, living through Stern Fan Network yes, chat. Yes, that's right. That's what it was, yeah. Because you were saying during the dark times, uh, working with the cuck, you had the haters online. And you'd be reading the chat, and you're like, "You never went through that." I'm going, "Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah Stern I Fan Network was that was that could that was some days great and sometimes very bad, bad to the point where the cuck had it shut down." <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was uh, uh, welcome to the hang with Mike and Matt. It was like, okay, the, you go on the air and you're on serious, and then you find about, out about this Stern Fan Network, and they're talking about the show live, and so you put that up on your computer during the show so yep. you can get some input from the Stern Fan Network. And it was like, oh, wait, they have a live listening thread? Uh, like a daily yeah, a, live they, thread? Yeah. Like, whoa, this is crazy. And it was just pages and pages of comments and real-time interaction. and that Feedback. Was like, and yeah. Pop. You know, they, if there was a pop, they'd be going pop, 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 and stuff like that. And then... And, whoo, and, and then they started calling out some bullshit. Yeah. It was like, oh, why are you guys doing this? Or why are you talking about this so much? And, and, and it was like, you could see it slowly turn into this other thing. And I was like, ooh, this is, this, now it's getting, now it's getting spicy. Yeah, it got real spicy. <laughs> and then after a while, you're like, yeah, this guy told me how cool I was. And this guy said that was a great bit. And this guy said it was the funniest bit he'd ever seen. And then this guy said that I was a piece of shit. And that was the, the lamest bit he'd ever heard. <laughs> and that's the only one that I remember. <laughs> so, so I eventually just stopped. Just I just didn't do it. I was like, yeah, no, I'm, t- that, I'm done. And I didn't do it anymore. Yeah, there's not a real advantage in, in <laughs> that mentally. Mentally, it'll just it, it can mess with you. I'm with you. And that's how it was. Like I said, imagine the the old show when when we were doing some pretty bad radio, and I was just a yes man, mm. and they were just like trashing us. It's, it's just <laughs> the whole chat trashing us. And you wanted time. to get on there and be like, "Yes, I know, I, I know. know. I'm I, see, I I'm with you. I understand. I get it." See, I'm such a moron. See, I should have like he does. I'm sure you know. He was probably trashing his own show because that's, you know he's not that crazy. Well, he was probably some like he was you know chubby. Screen I, name self sabotage <laughs> underscore one. <laughs> yeah, and he was he'd be do, he was probably doing that, but it got so toxic it was like man, that's a bummer to go. So he couldn't read it anymore. Uh, <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. What a week! Wow, I oh. feel like it's been three <laughs> years since I've seen you with all the yeah. action that's happened. It is. When did that happen? Was that Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Did yeah. that interrupt your Saturday night at all, or not? It didn't. Didn't mind. <laughs> I just. I went on with have, watching a movie and drinking beers with Donna. I, you know what I did when I, when the the Trump assassination thing is what we're of course uh, yeah. chatting yeah. about here. Um, yeah. I had watched a you know watched a Wimbledon earlier that morning, and then we had a couple people over to do like sort of a a, a grill and chill, and then um. Man, I ate a gummy and then I passed out, and, a, and and I woke up to this breaking news, and I had to like almost like rub my eyes, like what? Yeah. Hang on, what? Huh? This is this is a thing. Like, tell, wait a second, what's happening? And I had to like get my bearings right, and then I was like, oh, okay. Then I had to take the kids to this trampoline park. So the whole time I'm mm-hmm. at the trampoline park, I'm just following the news, yeah. right? I got my earbuds in, and I'm just watching this whole thing. And so no, not it actually made my Saturday much more interesting than it actually would have been, <laughs> you know. Otherwise, I probably would have watched reruns if it's always sunny in Philadelphia and called it a night. Yeah, we watched. I mean, I watched like you know, like a couple hours straight when I heard about it. It's like this, you know, it's a pretty yep. his, pretty historical deal. And then when I realized that I just watched two hours of the same. <laughs> Thing over and over again. I was like, okay, they're not going to say one thing new. <laughs> but boy, they had me hanging on some breaking news, dude. Yeah. They get you hanging, and I mean, everything on like CNN, everything's breaking news. They do not not use a breaking news for anything. It's 
every oh, single break they come piece, back. Any piece of new information doom, doom, in the world is breaking great. news on CNN. I, and I'm going, I don't even know why I'm watching CNN, first of all, right? I'm the one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but then second of all, everything is breaking news. It's, you know, you can't have everything breaking news. You got to hype it up. See, I, I watch, occasionally I'll watch CNN just to, you know, you got to. For some 11. I just force my, well, I also like, I got to make, sh- you know, sh- you know, that, you know, I just got to force myself to listen to what they're saying. Yep. And I can't really do it for like 20 seconds. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> rolling my eyes. It's like, I just can't help it. That's. To me, they're the, the 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 right now. It just happens to be the left is the party where you roll your eyes out. You're just like, oh my, you really believe that? I don't even think nobody believes that shit. And you roll your eyes. Republicans, you know, they're kind of that way with all the shit they do in the Afghan war and all that. Sh- oh that yeah, bullshit. so you yeah, roll yeah. your eyes at those warmongers. The, but right the now, the pendulum just swings a bit. I mean, this is the most preposterous administration I've ever seen. <laughs> That's why. Why? Why can't we just say that? Why do we have to be political? Because they're a point a pointing. The surgeon generals that well don't appear to be what they are. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. the whole thing. I mean, it in, is in diversity and incompetence and s- scandal. It is a comedy of errors at this point. Almost intentional. It is so strange. I mean, like, I mean, I, I don't want to get to, like probably like you, and we're probably you're probably even sick of talking about the the Trump thing and all this stuff. I'll, have to, I'll have to keep talking about. But then it's it. like you know now that and, and like that rolls right into the RNC and now of course I've got to watch CNN because it's the RNC and CNN has to cover it and they have to cover it live and it's like you you see them gritting their teeth yep. of like huh all right here we go Laura Bush is there yeah or uh, Laura Trump or all this stuff that's going on and then they of course have their fact checker come on and. It's so great. It is. And Bernie Sanders had said something to the effect of, look, politics should be kind of boring. Like, it shouldn't be this exciting. Side show. It's a sideshow, and it shouldn't be. And he's exactly right. When I was a kid, politics were pretty boring. Nobody talked politics. No, it was like, oh, that guy's a congressman? (laughs) (laughs) Stuffy old shirt. A senator. Oh, well, good for you, Mr. (laughs) Senator. You know, it always used to be looked at differently. And now they they hype up everything politics much like a UFC fight. And it's exciting. But at the same time, I agree with Bernie Sanders. Like, it shouldn't be. Well, it should be. Everybody but shouldn't it, be this excited about a lot of stuff. They, they've turned Congress into like a white trash showcase. <laughs> you got it. You got the Latina AOC, and you got Bobbert blowing guys in the movie theater, <laughs> and Marjorie Taylor Green <laughs> making racial slurs and putting up who she doesn't even know it who, is, who it signs is, the Declaration you, of Independence. And, you're so right. It is like an old school stable of WWF wrestlers. Like you'd have the I mean, the Latin exact, wrestler yeah. that would come out and oh yeah you know the, the the razor AOC would be like Razor Ramon right come on hey hey chica you know that kind of thing and she and people would people would completely buy it like they do she's doing exactly yep. that right now and then the bow bear chick she would be oh. who old school WWF style because what's her what's her what's her thing um, what does she like. She just she's, likes talking oh, crap. She's a right wing, uppity right wing, white trash bitch. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, but, All right. I mean, she's, you know, super- like a Mr. Perfect. She would be Mrs. Perfect. Yeah. All right. And then uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, her thing is guns. She, she's, she'd be right out of the trailer park. She's. So she'd be like Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's that. See, and she would I make, mean, she'd pull it off too. Cause she, you ever seen her work out? Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have. So she's Sergeant Slaughter. So you got Slaughter, you got Mrs. Perfect, and then you got uh, the uh, Razor Ramon chick. And then you get um, the old, you know, if, if you're talking about Biden, he would be probably some old wrestling valet manager. Bobby, he'd be Bobby the Brain Heenan with a brain with, injury. Without the brain, Bobby, <laughs> Bobby Brain Injury <laughs> Hey, Bobby, the brain injury Heenan. <laughs> we got Where here. Are, we're on to something. Yep. And then Trump would be just the ultimate babyface, great American hero kind of guy. 
I don't know who that Boy. was, old school. <laughs> old school, I don't know. I mean, maybe he's, Schmuck Schmogan. I mean, because he would have to be the most popular of all time. Yep. I think he might have to be Schmuck Schmogan. So the whole thing, you could, you could equate. Leg drop. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to avoid it. Don't try to fight it. It's going to happen. It's gonna it's the worst finishing move of all time, but you're gonna you're gonna tap out. Make that make that a virtual uh, wrestling game. Oh God! I fucking just cash the checks. There's something to it. <laughs> Wish but, I knew how to do anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I want to slip. We'll leave it up to somebody else out there. Uh, yeah, yeah, might as well steal our ideas and make a billion because we're too dumb to do anything about them. <laughs> We'll just keep hang- we'll just keep hanging while you guys it's, make the money. Yeah, well, we're 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 the creative. We're idea people. Yeah. Uh, we're two homeless guys under an overpass. <laughs> you know what we should have done? <laughs> should have acted on him ideas. You know what we should do? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a what, trip. Okay, how do we get on the rest? I don't know. We're talking politics. I forgot. Why, um, how do we get on the wrestling? <clears throat> bald-headed guy stole. What bald-headed guy? Wait, that? who? I don't know. It's a note I wrote. Just wrote myself. I have no idea. And it says bald-headed guy <laughs> stole something. Uh, what bald-headed guy? Do I, I don't even know a bald-headed well, guy. Well, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, is it the Bob Menendez guy? Nope. Just, we'll just move on because I have no idea what it is. It's okay. Short-term memory never comes back. Supreme Court justices don't seem all that... Uh, that, <laughs> that what? <laughs> that good lately. Um, I don't think they ever were. But... Man, oh, like yeah. you well, look at right. Clarence I think, I think, Thomas. Yeah, I think you're right. It's like the poli- you know, you can see the progression of politicians to where we are now with this, the complete wrestling show. Yeah, and the Supreme Court <laughs> used to be, and now they just seem like they turned they white trashed up the court, didn't they? <laughs> well, yeah, because there was the one justice, and he got in trouble somewhat. Not one trouble. I mean, he, Supreme Court ju- in trouble is a the relative alleged term. rapist guy or no 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 not the alleged rapist not that's kavanaugh right yeah no not kavanaugh um but to our point the alleged rapist yes another one in the supreme court <laughs> who had the flag uh the outside of his house clarence, well, i went clarence thomas no no clarence thomas oh, is Aaliyah. yes Aaliyah. scalia no, no is one scalia of the, one of those guys with the Aaliyah. italian <laughs> with, the, with the italian <laughs> italian name that that italian judge yeah alito the, alito was it alito <laughs> yes yeah, sounds right his wife allegedly had the flag up there which makes him look kind of a bitch because <laughs> it's like he goes well i told her to take it down and she wouldn't it's like instead you go hey sweetie you know i'm a supreme court justice you know you got that flag out there you know that could be a bad look for us and that's that's not a good thing so I mm. need you to go take it down or I'm going to take it down for you. And if she goes, no, I'm yeah. not taking it down. At that point, you got to question your relationship exactly. and go, do you not understand what position of power I'm in? Do you not understand? I'm a Supreme Court justice. Oh, yeah. I'm not the local comptroller here. Like, this is bigger than that. Don't have a fucking flag out there. Doesn't matter whether you believe it, don't believe well, yeah, Take I, it down. In a, in a marriage. Like, okay, say I... Donna's, you know, she's in office, and I go and I put the drunk tread me flag on or whatever it was <laughs> because I'm an idiot. Yep. And I'm like, oh, look at that. I go, look, Donna. And she go, take that down. I went, oh, shit, I didn't think of that. Right. And My I'd bad. Run and, I'd run and get the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> right. This guy said, I told her to take it down, and she said no. <laughs> what? What? I mean, that's a bitch ass move. That's to- the whole thing's bitch ass. It's bitch ass on his end, her end. It's uh, bitch ass on everybody's end. That be, you know, may, I mean, not necessarily if, if it's a Florida Gator flag or, or something inconsequential, but that, right. you know, that affects your career. As a Supreme you know, Court Justice. Bitch, I told you. Uh, yeah, bitch, no flag. Shoot the flag down. <laughs> what are you doing? Shoot the thing down. Put it, hang it inside by the mantle. I don't care. Do, yeah. Hang it above the fireplace. Do anything you want in private. Just hey, man. I've got a good gig. It's instead, a li- it's a lifetime gig. They can't instead, get his rid of wife me. says, "I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna. If you need me, I'll be out by the flagpole, stringing it up." He'd rather look like that than admit that he put it up there. 
<laughs> oh, you think? You think he's blaming her? Yeah, that's what the that's what they all do. Oh, they, they pass the buck. Then then your wife goes, "Yeah, I'll take it for you, honey." <laughs> yeah, you you know your wife. Job would, for life. They take it for you. They say, "I'm gonna mess this gig up." It could have been either one. I think it's a fifty fifty. He could just be a bitch. I think he's just a bitch. And, you know, I, I very well could be. Yeah, I think. Or he could you know, maybe. <laughs> It's a real ego complex. He's a, he's a Supreme Court justice. I told you. He would have. He either there, situation. No way she's putting up that flag. <laughs> either situation is not good, right? Like, think about this. Like, if, if his wife can influence and influence him to keep a flag up, right? Yeah. Knowing that it's uh, going to be all bad. Possibly all bad. Like, what else is she saying in his ear? Like, don't you? Uh-uh. You ain't voting that way. Uh-uh. You, do you understand the repercussions? And then have it come home and listen, like, her piping up? I don't know. I, she, it she, makes me question it all. She's obviously anti-abortion. she got in his ear about that for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then... I don't even... See, I don't even... It's a, it's a fraudulent issue, this whole Roe versus Wade. Everybody in the world agrees that there should be abortions up to a certain point. Almost every country has a reasonable thing, not six weeks. It's more like 15 or 16 mm -hmm. weeks. And everybody said that was fine, but they just won't ever let it go, ever, ever, ever. Why? Because it's, the, it's, just a, it's one that's always going to divide people because some people are always going to think that's you know, wrong and some are always going to not care. Yeah, I think my position on it currently in, in, at this time is – it's not my call, so I'm not going to worry about it. It's so oh, I, I'm going with the whole woman's body thing, but not for any other reason other than I don't have to make that decision. It has nothing to do with me. Zero I, to I, do with I, me. I, yeah, I agree. I agree. But is that a, what is the, is that an important thing to you? If a candidate says it is not. So if a candidate says I will outlaw abortion. Mm. Or, how, or make unreasonable restrictions like Ron DeSantis and the six-week deal. Is that a, a deal for, breaker for you? No, the bigger the deal breaker for me is is the debt. That to me, in 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 my way of looking at it, the debt, uh, the the national debt trumps all the other stuff. Like for me, yeah, the 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 debt worrying about our social security. Um, Worrying about illegal immigration, those are hot button issues for me. The abortion things, it, it, it is a hot button issue, but it's not one that I worry about because I don't have to. Uh, see, the only, I mean, the only reason I worry about it is anybody who's going to be drastic either way mm -hmm. on abortion, you know, that, that just scares me. If somebody says, I'm going to outlaw all abortions, I'm like, well, that's. That's taking away a lot of people's rights. And it that, is. And that's the, so that scares me. And as you're far right. As a candidate, or, or if somebody says abortion up to the ninth trimester, I'm like, what the? No, it's too much, and you shouldn't be able to make that decision. Yeah, you want some gray. Um, it's yeah. Uh, well, okay. So if 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 DeSantis, for instance, let's use him. He said, "Hey, um, abortions up to six weeks, or hell, no abortions at all." DeSantis yeah. said, no abortions at all. Yeah. However, I've got a plan that is going to get us out of debt and cut taxes and be fiscally responsible and cut our national debt to a break-even point, right? In, in four years, let's just say, I would go, I'll take that. I'll take that. See, I, I'll go with that. I agree with you, except him saying that. <laughs> Is the biggest lie. If it was you, legit. But it's never legit. I know, it's but never. let's say it was a laid out plan that was truly something that you could look at and go, okay, here's our country's P&L. Here's what's going on. Here's how we're going to work our way out of this national debt. Um, and it's a legit thing. Then I would go, yes, that to me goes above and beyond any sort of abortion issue. If you're in your fantasy scenario. Yes, my fantasy I, politician league. I agree. I agree with that. Yeah, I would, but that would never happen. But I would certainly trade abortion rights for a utopian world where the politicians solved all the debt and did were responsible. But hmm. it's not going to happen. A trade, you ask? <laughs> it's not. It would never happen. I like this uh, fantasy like, politicians yeah. league. I, f I feel the like plain, there's something to that, that too. Playing cards. Oh no, I have to draw from the abortion <laughs> pile. <laughs> 
I'll trade you uh, a Second Amendment right (laughs) for for some debt. You got yourself a goddamn deal. A DC kind of Opoly Game of Life deal. I think that would be pretty yes, funny. Yes, but at the oh end of God, the DC Monopoly game, everybody's in debt. Everybody's screwed. Except for, <laughs> except for the banker. Except for one asshole. <laughs> oh, and you hate that guy, but the end of the game, because he cheated. There's some kind of legal cheating. It's, it's a, yeah. DC Opoly. <laughs> he, he's got a money printer there next to him as the banker. He just keeps going and going and going. <laughs> like, you can't do that. I can do whatever I want. I'm the banker. The banker. It says right here in the rules of DC <laughs> Monopoly. And, and you read the rules, they're like, it says the banker can do whatever oh, he wants to do. Dude, if you ever read the Monopoly rules, the, the, the true ones, it is disgusting. What they, it is, it is, is it cutthroat? It is truly, um, uh. it's truly how the Federal Reserve does things, where they just print money. Like in the, in the game of Monopoly, the rules, that's exactly what it's like. It's crazy. I don't know. Uh, sorry, I was waving to the camera, not you. Oh, because <laughs> I finally put it on the two cam. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought you were waving to me. I'm like, Hello. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I, he probably thinks I'm waving. I was gonna fuck up his whole train of thought. Hi, I'm here. Hey, have <laughs> you not seen me this whole time, Mike? <laughs> probably. Yeah, I was like, you know, I was gonna do that, but that would be just as bad. That'd be real cheesy, man. Right. <laughs> yeah, Matt. Good point, buddy. <laughs> the cheesiest show ever. Podcast Media 2023, 100 bits. Hey. Of the podcast Media. Woo! Yay. Man, uh, Clarence Thomas doesn't seem all that great either these days. I mean, I mean, I know he was, he, uh, he, he got a know, bad rap for putting He's taking a, all kind of trips and shit on, you know, on some you know, rich people, friends, dimes. Yeah. Like, I, like he, your friends just pay for trips for, hey, Matt, you know, I came in a bunch of money. So, hey, you get, you, you. Well, they do when they're billionaires. You know, Tasha, want to go to Tahiti for, <laughs> you know, for free on my jet? Feel free. Uh, I would love to. However, I am a Supreme Court justice. I don't think it would be a good look if I actually took a private uh, plane and had you pay for my trip. I don't think that's a good idea. Meanwhile, Clarence Thomas goes, private plane. Well, that sounds like a great goddamn idea. What time will hit the tarmac? That's my Clarence Thomas. Right? <laughs> that's not bad. I'm just <laughs> and where do I drop my pubic hair in your Coke? <laughs> that always seemed true. <laughs> what did he say? It the looked whole like thing a, was, looked like was, a nasty. You got a, what is it? Uh, you got a pubic hair on your Coke? Something. I thought he put a pubic hair in it. He can. actually ripped out uh, a pube and put it well, on the no, coke can. That, that, he he was found. You know, I think not. Was it, it short, black, and curly? I don't think. I don't think that was ever proven. <laughs> you cannot think, prove that is my see, pubic hair. She did not see. Unlike Monica Lewinsky, she did not save the coke can with the pubic hair on it. Otherwise, she you know they could have DNA'd it and went, "Yep, that's a Clarence Thomas pube." So the the <laughs> lady. On her she, Coke can. She's got a Coke can. Yep. All right. And she's at her desk? Yep. All right. She's at her desk. And then all of a sudden, he just rolls by and Clarence Thomas drops a pube on it? Exactly. Or And then what? Or that was it? Or she, found, or she may have gone to the bathroom or something, gone away from her desk. Comes and back she, and there's a pube? She comes back, there's a pube. So huh. I don't know exactly know if it was a scenario where they were the only two people around. So a mystery pube a appears. A mystery pube appears on a coke, coke can. It was a whole to do. It and was then, a big to do. Yeah, I remember being a kid watching it and being totally disinterested. It was like, going, oh, oh, I was interested. I was I like, was what? In, well, when the pube, yeah, that was the only thing I was. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it finally got my attention. Oh, there's a pube. Oh, there's a pube. I didn't know there was a pube involved. A coke can. That's gross. So a pube appears, and then, then she complains or she doesn't complain. Do you remember how I that went down? Even, I, I don't know if she complained. I can't remember, but because well, the, the the whole deal wasn't right at, after that after the pu- the pubic hair was way in the past, ah. so I don't know whether she HR'd him or not. She <laughs> HR'd him for a pube ten years ago, kind and of she thing. She might have, mm. or she might not have HR'd. She might just, you know, how it's like the Kavanaugh people. They kind of came out of the woodwork. Yeah. So I don't, and I have no idea about that Kavanaugh stuff. I I. I, I he doesn't look believable, and she didn't look believable. So I don't know what you do. I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess so. I guess you got to go. So he said, <laughs> Chief Judge, from 30 years ago, you got to go with the, the he said because 
There's no <laughs> proof of nothing, right? I guess. And then there you was got no Clarence proof. Thomas ripping out pubes. Oh, well, she should have kept the pube. Remember, ladies. Oh, the golden pube. If, you know, if some guy is getting you drunk. Rips a pube out. Getting drunk and doing a three-way on you like allegedly Kavanaugh was doing. Save a pube. A Supreme Court Justice pube would have guy, been big evidence. Guy's not even... I'm, he's not going to miss it, ladies. Trust me. He's not going to. Hey, what? I mean, he's, he's just going to keep on doing what he's doing. <laughs> so, oh yeah, she's ripping out my pubes. She's so excited. <laughs> I remember when I was a, when I was a kid, I would watch some of those crime shows, and uh, I remember like one of those forty-eight hours kind of things or sixty-minute things, and they they were talking about how um, uh, the the gentleman had a pube that they were able to match the pube or the DNA or whatever from the shaft of his penis. And I was like 10 years old and I was like, wait, what you get that start? Wait, what goes on? And now the years shaft? later, yeah, I'm going, all shaft? right, I could see. Yeah, they do appear. It does appear. It's not shaft. <laughs> you damn right. <laughs> pubes on your shaft. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if nature, you live long enough, nature makes pubes come out of the head of your penis. Because that's what nature does. You're, just, you're going to get hair in yeah. the most disgusting places. It's true. Oh, my God. My penis head is, <laughs> I have to pluck the, pe pluck the hairs from it. I think everybody's saying that, uh, that, this, that this shit is not sounding right on Twitch. Oh. So, but I don't know if well, that how means, do we? I, don't, I have no idea. I mean, there's no way it says that I'm streaming. Everything really looks... Hunky dory. When they say doesn't sound right, what does that mean? Is, I, I is, it, is it our voices? I don't even know. <laughs> is, it, is it us? I don't know if it's Twitch. I don't know. Crashing. Manson needs to multi-stream to YouTube. YouTube would make it crash. My added audio sounds wonky. See, I don't know. It sounds, sounds fantastic to us. See, everything sounds fantastic. Everything looks fantastic. It says, the, you know, it says that we're streaming and recording. So I have no... Let's see. The power went out yesterday, but... Oh, see, the power went out yesterday. We haven't done a show since, but everything looks fucking good to me. I don't know. I don't know. Go to settings. What does settings say? Where's Engineer Donna? <laughs> oh, I know. I mean, there's just not a lot you can do once you're streaming, and I wouldn't even know what to look for. It says we're streaming. Man, this is this is what we get for just trying to hang. We're just hanging out, but, you know, and see, uh, hopefully we're just, you know, recording, so at least you'll be able to get this tomorrow. All right, hold on. Oh, wait, wait. Here, shush, shush. Brilliant, Matt. Well, we got a commercial plan first. A commercial? So, so what? you got an ad. I don't know. And an then I'm. Ad? Hold on. Let's see how we sound. Oh, come on. Oh, they got another Veto. <laughs> you got a Jersey Mike's deal? DeVito's job himself. Well, Jersey Mike sounds good. Brilliant, Matt. So that sounds. We sound good. We sound fucking awesome. Yeah, we sound f fantastic. Probably the best we've ever sounded. It sound. I mean, that was unbelievable. It was amazing. And engineer Donna just texted and she says it sounds okay on my phone. Everybody needs to refresh. <laughs> That's my solution. Everybody, stop listening. <laughs> and it come on, on Can they come back? Come on back, guys. Come Take hang. That. Come hang with come us. Come on, we promise we'll be better. Come on, refresh your connection. Refresh your connection. I mean, it sounded good on Matt's phone. I don't know. You know, I'm not saying that Matt's got a better phone than everybody. You guys are ignorant. You guys Connection's be... great. You guys are stupid. Donna said it was freezing up at first, uh -huh. but was okay now. All right. We're going to go with Donna. <laughs> so go do we with the... keep hanging or? Oh, I... we wouldn't. We wouldn't dare stop hanging, would we? No. <laughs> I, you know, You're a cold day in hell. You see, here's the, I'm always going to record this mm. and put it somewhere. That's not true. You've forgotten to record no, many no, times. Oh, yeah, that's true. No, but I'll always you know, have an audio version. We're always to do this because that gives us a reason to do it. Okay. We okay. can have, you know, we're just, hey, you know, we still got, <laughs> we'll be, you know, we'll be, you know, in our 70s and we'll be going, well, I will be. <laughs> You'll be in your 60s or 50s or whatever. God, I'm way older than you. <laughs> And we'll be going, well, we still got our four followers. So we got to do the show for on YouTube. I 
think two of them died with their computer on. <laughs> and one of them's me. Dude, I don't even know how old you are. I swear to God, for the life of me, I couldn't. I have an, I have an estimate of how old you are. And you don't even have to tell I'm, me. I'm timeless is who I am. I'm timeless. Man. But I, I have no clue. I have a. Oh, sure, I've told you before. You have, but it doesn't stick with okay, me. Okay, well, well. Let me write down a number. Let's do it. Because I don't want to out your age if you don't want to tell people. I don't, I don't even know if I ever do tell people. Now, I, I, I feel I like I'm going high, but I'm just going there. It's pretty clear. That's almost. You just. Up or Just down. over. Just, just over. I mean, just. I'm talking months. So I did go a little high. Not uh, really. I mean, you know, a couple, three months high. You look terrific. All right. Let me cross that out so nobody. So we're still going with Donna says we Donna says we were I guess kicking ass. Yeah. Lynn Carr says, but yes, it's all us and not on your end. I don't know if that's <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're being sarcastic there, Lynn. Can somebody give us a straight answer? <laughs> no, but if you listened to it and said it was fine and Donna listened to it and said it was fine, I don't think we're in a, a fine zone. I think it must be fine. I don't know what to tell you. Um, Maybe it's a twitch thing. Because we shouldn't cut in and out. Unless the wireless is wonky out there in the kitchen. And I don't know. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Somebody else said. We're recording it for our four fans on YouTube. Shut the hell up. I'm looking in chat. I never, I never am able to do this. I'm actually seeing. Able to do what? Like I never am able to look in chat or. Because it's up there. I don't really. I'm just looking you know, at you the whole You don't time. normally have your phone. Yeah. Go, yeah. Let me see how it sounds again. Wonky out there in the kitchen, and I don't know. Uh, Sounds good. I'm so confused. Well, we'll just keep hanging. Yeah, we're just gonna keep hanging. So sorry if sorry if we were uh, uh, coming in and coming out. You know, sometimes that happens, and sometimes you know, usually it's just a an aberration. Good word. Just, it's, yeah. Good word. <laughs> it's the servers, man. <laughs> It's the servers. <laughs> well, what were we talking about? We were talking about Clarence Thomas's pubes. Oh, yeah. Why, yeah. We're talking about, why are we talking about? We're talking about justices. We're talking about NWA, DC, Opoly. Yeah, we're all over the place, We've got man. got a lot of ideas. Please take them. Someone with motivation come up with DC Opoly. DC Opoly is a good it's one a for Great me. idea. Love to, love, to, love to write it and do it, but I won't. <laughs> so what did you think about this whole uh, uh, the the Trump thing? Um, like your overall macro, right? Like, yeah, without getting too deep into the weeds, because there's so many things, it's so many things, but so many things like when you first saw it, just go back to that first moment when it was breaking news. Yes. Did you immediately go somebody effed up? <laughs> Or did you go, oh, wow, I can't believe this happened to our, our, our dearest former president? Like, what was your initial thoughts? I, would, I think they were very convoluted mm. from, from the get-go. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> then I'm going, who's doing that? <laughs> and then I'm going, then I'm seeing it and seeing him pump his fist and they keep playing the, and they fight, fight, fight. I'm like... This is the greatest photo op of all time. Of all time, I've got the greatest photo op of all time. You know, it's the greatest photo op. It almost assures him of the presidency. It almost seems too good to be true. But whoa, uh, it, it I'm, just, I'm reading between the lines here. Uh, it just just seemed too perfect, too perfect. I don't know. But also, uh, interesting. I, don't, I I mean, but I'm I'm you only think think that in a small way. That's just my, that was my first impression of, wow, what a photo op. But I don't know. They say they saw the guy half hour before. He's got to carry a 14-foot ladder. I have a 12-foot ladder. Yeah. And I don't, I try not to carry it anywhere. Because <laughs> you, usually you're just one dude carrying a 12-foot ladder, <laughs> and it's fiberglass. And it's heavy it's as shit. It's a nightmare. It's heavy as shit. And it's always banging around. It's, it's, it sucks. Because carrying a six-foot ladder is not a big deal. Carrying a 12-foot ladder sucks. So, no, somebody would notice this guy carrying a 12-foot ladder up to this event. 
there's so many things and the deeper it goes the more like crazy it gets of course and i don't know if you have access to your email to pull it up or not but um i i sent you uh just a, something that somebody put on social media it's a rudimentary cartoon drawing that i just find hilarious because it's it's so uh simplistic right but um i also came across these things and was talking about let me see here 10 anomalies that are highly suspicious <laughs> i mean how on point is that with just a basic cartoon oh, drawing here we go okay a slopey roof a shooter <laughs> a ladder and the feds banging each other in the shed underneath yeah, that's a good one that's a good one Slopey. The roof was too slopey. It's too slopey. See, they, I mean, they're coming up with stuff that's not even believable now. It's if, if the director of the Secret Service said the roof was too slopey for her agents, you know, to, to be upon. It's the clo it was the closest roof to the uh, the president, I believe. It seemed like that kind of, should be kind of a big deal. I would, I, you know, one, the trust is blown, right? I mean, just in general, like the the little trust that some people had yeah. left in the government and all this kind of stuff. I think that's gone. Right. This pretty much was like, all right. And secondly, it made new. <clears throat> I don't want to call them conspiracy theorists because I mm -hmm. hate that word. But it made new conspiracy theorists out of people who wouldn't ordinarily be conspiracy theorists. It did. And it also made people go off the rails with conspiracies inclusive of uh, a member of my family who kind of mentioned what you just mentioned mike was it was almost too perfect and i'm going well what does that mean and she was like i, I don't know i feel <laughs> like he almost went down broke a blood packet over his <laughs> ear yeah. and popped back up and i'm going that i can't get down with i don't see that happening but the mere fact that people are having those thoughts run through their head is yeah. a real problem for the trust in what's going on here in 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 its totality it ran through my head immediately i was like yeah blood packet they're all in on it and this is they want everybody wants trump to be elected the, the parties it doesn't matter democrats republican they're not even in charge they're told what to do and they want trump and trump's gonna really screw everybody it could be that could, it could not be that. I, I, don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what it is. It's, you know, sometimes it could, they, be, it could just be incompetence. Yeah, that's the thing. They always say what the, the simplest explanation is more often the, the right one or something along those lines. Right. But the simplest explanation on this still doesn't make any sense. It still doesn't add up. So you could go with the most simple explanation of them all of this guy happened to make it on. The, but that still doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. You don't think you don't think there could be so incompetent. That is a level of incompetence that is mind boggling, especially seeing that, you know, there was security inside the building of the roof that he was mm -hmm. on. I mean, it, like, OK, let me read a couple of things here. These are 10 highly uh, suspicious anomalies out of this thing. Right. Yeah. And. And tell me if you don't agree with one of these or if you see something differently. But number one, low, no local law enforcement was on the roof used by the shooter. All right. Mm -hmm. That is. Number two, when law enforcement was notified by citizens of the shooter, there was no prompt action on the rooftop to neutralize the shooter. Again, weird. Mm -hmm. Somebody would have radioed in yes. something. Number three, local law enforcement failed to initiate active uh, shooter protocol to protect Trump and the crowd. Obviously. Four, there was no apparent communication from local law enforcement to the Secret Service to get Trump in a secure location. Number five, police snipers on the roof used binoculars to track the shooter's position. It did not warn the service uh, below to get Trump off the stage. That's the biggest thing. That's, Isn't that weird? I mean, that's crazy. That's because that's, the not, very cause sighting that's, cause that's of danger. not a big deal. You, you know, you don't even have to shoot the guy. You know, you get the president off stage until you figure out. And it, it'll be a blurb in the news. Mm -hmm. It'll be a story today. It's happened before. And that, yeah. It's, no, it, so why not do that? I don't know. That's There's so many the things. easiest thing to do. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's just, just normal incompetence. I mean, there's, there's others here. But then, um, of course, everybody's a, a, yeah, 
some sort of expert on sniping people and all this stuff now, but I have been watching these videos from like ex snipers and, uh, you know, people that were in Navy seal, all this kind of stuff. Right. Um, and I haven't yet, I'm sure they're out there. The ones I have seen, I've not heard one go, Oh yeah. Well, here's what easily could have happened. This may have slipped through the crowd. Every single one of them is going, Oh no, no, it, it, they were derelict in their duties for sure. Something's up. This goes to the, I'm not saying what department it goes to, but yeah. something's afoot. Right. <clears throat> and I'm going, all those people, I just feel like we all can't be wrong. It, we can't be, I don't, I don't know anybody that's, I don't know anybody personally that you goes, Oh yeah, that's just the way it went down. I can't find anybody that goes, yeah. take it for what it is. It's, it's like take it for what it is, but everybody's not taking it for what it is. But it just kind of seems like we're going to take it for what it is, right? <laughs> I don't know if we're going to have a choice. I don't think you're going to have a choice. But this is, I mean, a greater. Do you think this is a greater conspiracy than JFK? Since he didn't get killed, it will never probably be because he didn't get killed. If he got killed, <clears throat> oh my God, this would be people would be going ape shit about this. Or maybe this that's stuff. what makes it a greater conspiracy is the fact that it didn't, it didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? It, it, the follow through wasn't there by chance or whatever. I don't know. It, could it be? You know, thing it's uh, over. This just uh, Secret Service has probably been together for, you know, I don't even know how long. Decades upon decades upon decades. And every organization, especially a government organization, as it goes by, becomes more bloated mm -hmm. and incompetent and n nepotistic and political and political. And maybe the Secret Service used to be like the Navy SEALs, top-notch mother effers going to protect <laughs> the president and dot every I, cross every T. And maybe now they get a bunch of DEI shit ba <laughs> DEI shitbags. Or, or maybe you're Joe Biden. You intentionally hire a bunch of DEI shitbags. Hey, good luck, Donald. Here's your detail. That, that's not plausible. It's totally. Yeah, I, I, that's yeah. the thing is anything is, Any, in this so situation, scenario. anything is possible. I, it's the weirdest thing in the world uh, to know and, and to know that anything's possible. And for me not to talk to anybody who just takes it for what it is. Um, I, I haven't found one person who goes, eh. These things happen. <laughs> Slip through the cracks. I don't know what you want to do about it. Like, there's just too many moving parts on a situation like this to, I don't, and you, uh, to have it you, go down like that. How are you going to know the truth now? That's a great question. And is, but imagine, it, if, imagine if when JFK got assassinated, imagine if there was social media and everybody had a camera phone. If there was a second man on the grassy knoll, yeah. somebody would have seen it, right? Um, so it makes me think almost like if they were going to pull something off like that, something JFK esque, right? Yeah. And they just didn't count on the variables of people having their cell phones out or yelling or noticing something like maybe they just didn't take that into account. I don't know. I'm still trying to work my way around it. Today I saw on the internet. Oh, internet. On, on, on Twitter, a guy said, "Oh, they've got the ballistics, blah, 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 something, blah 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 blah," and they show a, the, the, the second shooter allegedly, mm. and he's in the crowd, in the back of the crowd, pew pew, pew and he's pew pew, and it's a second shooter, and I don't know how they didn't get him with two shooters. <laughs> that doesn't seem believable either. Nothing seems believable. I don't. So I don't know what to believe. I'm I'm digging this other conspiracy of there's a woman wearing a hat and sunglasses yes, right I've behind Trump. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know what I'm talking about. She kind of like nods, shot goes off. She just slightly ducks down and comes back with her cell phone. And everybody's like, who is this woman? This woman needs to be found. Me, I'm, I'm sort of going, yeah, I kind of do want to know who she is too. I'm not going to lie. Like, it does seem interesting. Yeah. But at the same time, what if she's just a citizen who was there and now she's in the middle of this shit storm uh, because people are calling her out. And the second they find out her identity and where she lives and all this stuff, people are not going to uh -huh. leave her alone and they're going to think she was involved in it, right? So if you're that woman, 
you can't just come out and be like, hey, here I am. Nothing to see here because nobody's going to believe or half the people aren't going to believe you. So it puts her in a weird situation. Yeah. And I don't think her reaction was if you hear the, the shots, it doesn't sound like it doesn't like it's not a shot that you're going to be like, oh, God, it was gunshot. It was like a pop, pop, pop because it's so you know from far away. And her reaction was, oh, my God, there's an incident at the Trump rally. Let me mm-hmm. get it on film. I think that's all it was. She wasn't thinking she was going to get shot. Yeah, I mean, I was personally surprised with the majority of the people's reactions when that happened. It used to be like if you heard a gunshot in a nightclub, right? Everybody is running. You, that place is clearing out. Everybody's stepping over everybody to get out of a nightclub if there's a shooting, right? Yeah, absolutely. So in this case, there's multiple shots fired. People barely moved. And instead, a lot of people grabbed their phones and started filming it or watching it like it was a, like a movie set or something. And I'm, I'm going, I would have, <laughs> if I hear gunshots, I am running. I'm, I'm, I'm getting my family or whoever I'm with and I'm getting out of there. The majority, at least in that footage, they're just kind of hanging out like going, oh, let's get a, let's get a shot of this. Not me. Donna, that's what Donna's been railing about for you know the whole time she's like why aren't these people stampeding right that's what people do you stampede if you if there <laughs> was a, a gun yes. shot, stampede exactly like okay there's a gun out here let's let's get the hell out of here what do we got to do to 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 get out of this situation and then uh although i am digging the trump bandage i mean that was what? pretty terrible what is what <laughs> uh, what is that that there's some reason behind that <laughs> And I don't understand what it is. It's like Nelly with the Band-Aid on his face. I mean, it's the He's most got... ridiculous. It's like a Band-Aid that doesn't even have a purpose. It's it's like a super glued square. A square oh, when he was thing. walking, when he was walking out of the RNC, right? We all, I think, we all kind of knew he's going to have a Band-Aid on, right? All right. Whether he yeah. needs one or not. He's going to have something on. You got to play that up. You can't just walk out there with oh, nothing, God. right? No, nothing. No way. So I was excited to see what sort of bandage he was going to have. You were, your expectations were, were fulfilled. It was, I mean, it's outrageous looking. I've never, it's like a Mike Lindell made like a little my pillow for his ear or something. It is so ridiculous. It's, I don't get it. They could have come up with something better than that. And he's worn it two days in a row, the same thing. Why isn't that a big the bigger the bigger biggest deal of all of the whole assassination attempt should be this band aid? <laughs> Why? What is it? I want the most ridiculous band aid ever. It's it's, a, it's like a giant cell phone that's just stuck to his ear. Posturous. <laughs> has no it looks like it has no function. It, there it's you can't even sell it right. Like it doesn't look right. I just would have preferred to see him with a, a true bandage of some sort. That just doesn't look right. Seemed like that would have been better, because now it raises the question: What the fuck is that? <laughs> I wasn't even here. Like, oh, you know, I wasn't really suspicious about it till I saw that bandage. Oh wait, and then the worst part of the bandage is then they showed people in the crowd at the RNC, <sighs> and they have people with the bandage on, like in support of. Like it's a Halloween costume or something. And I'm going, where oh. you got to wear a, a Trump Band-Aid oh. in support. Of, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear it tomorrow on air. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Donna's going to make me a Band-Aid tonight. A Donald Trump Band-Aid. It is so... no. What's going on? Even if you're the biggest the, Trump fan, you can't think that bandage is a good look. It's not. It's terrible. It could have gone... You could have done it another way is all I'm saying. I don't even... I, it would to me it's if i'm donald trump you know i get to the hospital they'd be like you know you know make give me some more cuts on the ear i want this to be good you know you want it to be good <laughs> give me the biggest bandage ever with no blood have you, have you okay we, have we talked about the shrapnel theory i don't think so no. okay well they said i see all over the internet people are like uh they proved it now it was a piece of glass from the teleprompter getting shattered because an AR-15 bullet would have blown his ear off. Oh, okay, yes. And it's not, he didn't even get shot, and it's just a piece of glass. And it's like, where is the, you don't see that on the news. And is that going to come out on the news? And is it true? I don't know. I don't know if that would matter to me. And I, and I don't think it should matter. But the fact that it's, it's being either covered up, why, if you hear the news, you wouldn't 
<laughs> that's a pretty big fact. About the shrapnel I from mean, the that, that should not, like glass it, as opposed to a bullet? It's just a, a, it's a fact that why wouldn't you ch- say it? If that happened, why would you just cover it up? Well, I mean, for if all you're Trump, news, I get it, but not, well, even for even for uh, a left leaning news station, I, yeah, you're right. It's I a it's you. a better story. It's, it's a better, a better story. You, you're not going to get it's, any. You're not going to win any yeah. fans by going, "Hey guys, it was just a piece of glass." Relax. You're right. It's it's yeah. It makes it a much better story. Yeah, and it shouldn't matter, but it does as far as people's. People just feel like uh, if he got shot, people are like, man. But if it it was, you know, it didn't even graze him. It missed, they missed him. People are like, eh. I think it's way, <laughs> eh. most people are way easier to just get by that. Assassination attempt nonetheless. They don't care. I think, yeah, to me, it doesn't matter at all. Well, there's no difference. Yeah. An attempt, assassination attempt is just as bad as an assassination. You know, one other thing I did notice when it was going down and social media is going crazy is... I, I always, at least I try to reserve my opinions now and let things simmer, right? Because all too often, y- you know, people pop off at the beginning and then they're completely you wrong. Look like, you look stupid. Yeah, and I noticed that happened when they uh, pulled the dead body or whatever out of the uh, yeah. crowd. But on social media, everybody's going, there's the shooter. They got him. Rest in hell and all this kind of stuff. And it's like going, it turns out three hours later, Four hours later, they find out that that wasn't the shooter. That was the victim. And now you've taken this victim's, the picture of this victim who did nothing wrong and getting his body dragged out of there, and you made him look like the killer because you were so quick to judge on it. You were so quick. Everybody wanted to be, so, or, everybody wanted to be first. It's people, to, and they don't care. People are looking to grasp on anything I think they may even know that it's false from the, there's so many trolls out there. I, I'm so frustrated because I, I use X to supply the show with uh-huh. material. I find it the best place sure. for a variety of topics and videos and things. And now it's all politics and I can't get <laughs> shit for the show. It's like, uh, it's just people bitching back and forth about the same. I can't even I'm like, <laughs> fuck off. I hate it. It's ruining, it's ruining it's ruining everything. It is fascinating. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm fascinated by this whole thing. Okay, though. now tell me, tell me this. Sure. Tell me this. Okay, you're the Secret Service. Mm-hmm. Your job is to protect the president. It's the most important job in the in the world, basically. Uh, you probably have unlimited funds. It's, it's your Secret Service. I think there were three point two billion dollar budget last year. I think. <laughs> Okay, you know what would really be uh, probably a good purchase would be some drones. Mm. And you have uh, four to five drones all over the whole property, and you got a guy in a van, maybe three guys in a van looking at TV sets. Hell, and four re- guys. Four guys, <laughs> man. We're going to throw in the extra $112,000. Four guys looking at, at video, uh, and he said, hey, there's a guy on the roof. Problem solved. You're telling me we don't have fucking. You're telling me everything is. They got gr- drones to watch fucking Rory McElroy's <laughs> McElroy's nine iron at the Scottish Open, but we got no drones to protect the president. You can buy a drone for like forty nine dollars. I'm with you. And they've so they used them in they other. They don't. They don't have drones. No, they do, and they've but used they them in other circumstances. Not from rocket, my understanding it's not rocket science your average joe can operate a drone you tell me the federal government can't to protect the president with drones have you know have some eyes in the sky instead of see we don't even you could eliminate secret service agents it's like we <laughs> these these four drones are covering two miles <laughs> and we got four jobbers in the van well, I know I'm, I'm with you. And, and they keep talking about, well, there's all these uh, different um, technologies that they have available to them and they might start implementing them. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What do you mean? They, they might have to start. You know, so I wouldn't be surprised in the future if you start seeing these presidents roll around like the Pope, you know, in the Pope mobile where it's just a big you know, yep. glass cage mm-hmm. on display. See, because the worse, the worse and the worse that these politicians make society, the more and more protections they're going to have to have for themselves. The president <laughs> yeah. will be the, in the Pope mobile. It'll be the Trump mobile. 
Trump appeal. Dude, they were they were not saying, my fault. I know things are shitty. <laughs> not my fault. Biden. They were saying, uh, they go, and we don't know what happened yet with this situation. It could have been a shooter inside, but they do go through metal detectors. And then the reporter goes, but as uh, as we we are aware, you can get guns in any uh, many other ways now to these events. <laughs> And I'm going, and then he kind of backtracked. He's like going, not that we're going to tell you how to do that. (laughs) (laughs) So in other words, we're talking about, you know, uh, 3D printed weapons, right? Uh, Because that's in reality a big deal, a big deal. Um, These 3D printed weapons, because they work just the way it is, unfortunately. Right. Um, And he was, he was doing his best to backtrack going, oh man, I shouldn't have. Shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have alluded to the 3D printing guns thing. I'm really surprised that they don't do not do a whole special on it. Uh, it sounds like, you know, the news. Well, you know, if you wanted to, you could get this 3D printed plastic gun in. And you, know. do you remember it, uh, back in the day when at, at 90 Rock, when when Calta and the Cuck did the dollar bill thing, we were on the show and they did the uh, vendor dollar bill thing. Do you yes, remember that? I do remember that. And... They had pretended to use a, a a fake dollar bill to put in the vending machine, and the vending machine spit out a soda or chips or whatever. And it was just a it was just a rib on air. It was just a just a gimmick. Yeah, yeah it was just a gimmick. But the Secret Service that was down there real mm. quick, mm. like real quick. Like what did you what do you think that was? Maybe an hour. <laughs> hour? I mean, an hour and hour and a half. At a, they were there. They were there. They were not messing around. They were not messing around. And that was over what? dollar bill for the vending machine or something <laughs> it, 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 exactly so it's like come on you're, you're telling and this is they 25 want- years ago you telling me our, our secret service is it degraded that badly <laughs> i think it has i think it has <laughs> they were johnny on the spot with a fake dollar bill gig now they can't stop us they can't stop a dorky tuttle looking sniper it's from all a, very from weird a sloped roof <laughs> with a with a 12 foot fiberglass ladder which is about the most cumbersome thing it's like you should have they could have 12 foot fiberglass ladder races in the olympics and i would be very impressed he's like yeah, shit i got one right out there and we're gonna go both of him and i matt and i are gonna carry it across the yard and see videotape how hard it is bro i would have given up <laughs> 30 seconds in it sucks much that that that, that that ladder is um donald was looking at the screen Mm-hmm. You know where some you know there's some paint painting going on right above the screen. Yeah, and one of the one what do they call it? The thing had come out. Little and fascia. So, so she, no, the the little the rubber thing. There's a thing. You know, screens are put in with the rubber. Th- oh, okay, thing. okay, okay. So okay, it, it come out. She she put it back in, and that ladder's still there. <laughs> it's set up. I said, oh man, I ain't moving that ladder. Until we got to use it again. It's out in the yard. Bro, I got to trim my <laughs> trees, my palm trees or whatever, and cut them down. And I try to maneuver my ladder around to, to just get a little extra height over there. Yeah, it's wobbly. It's, it's tipsy. So- I'm, I'm sweating by the time. Like, how how far did this kid carry that ladder? Did, I don't know the distance on that yet. I the ladder is the key, man. It's the key. <laughs> it, the ladder is the key. How far did you... If I carry this ladder... 25 feet i'm like f this la- i'm cursing it because it's banging against your legs and you're you, unless you have gloves you don't have gloves on you it hurts this it guy had a of, yeah, it sucks yeah much less carrying a ladder <laughs> with anything else like i don't want to carry a ladder with anything else like i have a bad i have a hard enough time carrying just a ladder much less a ladder and a an ar-15 and with a some gun, rounds and in gunny there sack. <laughs> imagine he had imagine he didn't have it you probably had it in a bag. I mean, can't you, this, are you just walking around with it strapped on your shoulder and uh, carrying a 14-foot ladder? That's not <laughs> the most obvious thing in the world. It's all very confusing. I mean, it's the ladder. It busts the whole deal. What do you mean busts the whole deal? But they said like that they saw going him on. carrying the ladder, right? They, 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 they saw him carrying the ladder? They might have. I thought and, there was some witnesses now that have come out and said that they saw him carrying a ladder. I, I, you know. They, I mean, there's plenty of videos of the people going, there's a guy on the roof and he's got a gun and nothing ever happened. All right. Let me ask you a question. What is the top? Okay. Top three scenarios. Let me give you one, two, and three. <laughs> yeah. All right. The most real to the uh, most fake. All right. 
or work okay. or however you want to say it. Oh, let's okay. let's you get, go. Are you going? Yep. Do it. I, I'm going to give it. you four. Okay. I'll see if I agree. We're going to do J. I'm just going to give you four. You'll you'll put them in order. Mm-hmm. JFK. All right. Nine eleven. Moon landing. <laughs> uh, Trump assassination attempt. What is the most uh. real out of those four? To the most fake, or potential to be fake. I don't want to say fake. I don't. Don't take it like that. Man, that's that's like <laughs> a, that's like a nut tucker. It's like the <laughs> odds are like it, I don't. I would love to give this to a Vegas odds guy. Whew. Every one of them has their unique characteristics of fakery. <laughs> you, you know what? Yeah. Think about it. I'm, I'm about to mull on this. Well, mull on it. Because I'd love to get chats oh, it's, at people. Oh, it's a, and we apologize for the technical difficulties. The only thing I would be able to do would be shut down the stream and then go in and see if the server, if we're not binded to the IP, which I don't even know what means, but sometimes I can fix it. <laughs> I don't know what you just I said. I rebind the IP to the default setting sometimes, and that, that fixes things. Don't know what that means, but I don't know. It's working, and then it occasionally will just drop out. And I know that we sound okay because it sounded okay on your phone. So it's not, you know, it sounded okay on your phone. So we know that we're sounding okay. Is there, Are people still on chat? Right, right guys, chat, help us out as we go to break here. Right now, do we sound golden and delectable <laughs> and delicious like we always do with our, with our dulcet tones? Uh. Ne- oh, these, okay, these, oh, should we? We should just go ahead and um, and, yeah, and get the chat's input now because you know we'll forget. That's true. Okay, here yeah. we go. All right, so again, your four options, and, and I'm sure people have yeah, other ones. Four options. It's uh, good options. 9-11. 9-11. JFK. JFK. Trump. Trump assassination. Moon landing. <sighs> moon landing. The most real to the uh most fake okay i guess we'll go in that most, order, however you see the fit. most real to the most fake yeah let's go, go oh, I don't, okay i see now the people who've already voted i don't know if they were doing the most real to the oh most well fake. yeah maybe i messed that <laughs> up i don't know ah, we can't do anything right <laughs> we'll do the least fake to the most real then i don't know i can't remember what the original question was the most fake i think it was wasn't it i'll go with that sure okay. whatever you think yeah now all the orders are jumbled yeah, out man we're th- okay <laughs> <clears throat> B. Bumpy says Trump 9-11 moon landing. Yes, but in what order? I think he's saying most <laughs> fake. Nez Navy votes moon landing. <laughs> we, gonna, me- I even, we messed up the positioning we're of gonna, it. We're going to take a break. And we're this gonna is why we hang. And we're going to review the audio and figure out what we asked you. <laughs> Fa- uh, okay, here we go. L. Burden says fake to real. Okay, fake, fake to, to real. real. All right, fake to real. Moon landing. 9-11, JFK, Trump. Yep, those are the options. Interesting. Should we throw in a fifth? Is there a fifth in there that's oh. that's uh, that's I don't know. burning I mean, on your brain? Or if, we'll go with four. I think we just go with these because okay. that's, that's four really solid ones. Be bumpy says, I think the Trump shooting was real, but probably initiated by SS. But that's some pr- See, they're so incompetent, they can't pull it off. Trump's like, yeah, you can't do it. Sorry, Sleepy Joe, you guys, <laughs> you trans secret service guys couldn't do it. <laughs> That's what it was. Let's see if we got anybody else here. And, and to be perfectly honest, I haven't even ranked these myself. I just thought of this. So I don't. I don't even know what I'm thinking on this one. Actually, I do. Fake to real. I'm putting my list together here. Okay. Um, Triple H Sword says. Uh, I forget what it is now. Fake to real. 9-11, JFK, Trump, Moon. So he thinks the moon is the realest, and Trump is pretty real. Whoa, and hold JFK, on. He thinks the moon's the most real? He does. Who, who says that? Triple-edged sword. Okay. Don't mess with a guy with a triple-edged sword. You don't buddy. want to mess with that guy. <laughs> Three all, edges on his sword, It's almost impossible sake. to stick it in somebody. It's just too cumber. I mean, it's hard. <laughs> it's like call a yourself lot, a Chinese it's star. A lot of sword. <clears throat> Like a churro, trying to, <laughs> trying to stab somebody with a churro. <laughs> Fake through. I'm having a tough time with the last two here. Oh, 9 11. Okay. Um, hold on. Right. Me, I'm, okay, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it too. Fake to real. Fake, Fake to real. Real. Uh, 
Um, oh my god. Oh man, I'm having a tough oh time with this god. one. Oh my god. I mean, I've got my okay. list. I'm, okay, I got my. I've got one. Hmm. Okay, one more. Fake to real. Moon. Uh, Nine Eleven. JFK. Trump. And the moon. Those are those are the options here. And again, we're not saying all this was fake. We're just saying, like, just a general expand your mind yeah, just, for a second. You know, Don't get all bent out of shape over it. Well, is people are people getting are they in your face? No, about I'm just that? saying. But you know, people are okay. Fake to real. JFK says JFK, nine eleven, Trump, moon landing. So moon landing. More people have bought the moon landing. E, uh, Alberton says real to fake. Trump, JFK, nine eleven, moon landing. You're telling me that so people are buying the moon landing more than anything. That's saying something, isn't it? I don't know. Because I ever like my realist. Uh, are did you give yours? I have my list ready from okay, fake to real. All right, let's hear it. Okay, my list, the most fake mm -hmm. to the most real. Okay. Moon landing, most fake. Okay. My number two, I have it down as JFK. Okay. Just simply because of the circumstances around that one. Seems a little odd. My number three, this was a tough one. Uh, I went with Trump mm -hmm. for number three and 9-11 yeah. for, for the most real at most number four. Real. Okay. How did you come in? It's, it's such a, it's, a, it's so hard. Uh, the most fake, moon landing. Okay. So we agreed on that one, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, then the Trump assassination. Wow. You bumped Trump up to two already without even knowing all the facts. <laughs> Then nine eleven, and then J. See, but it's like J I think the JFK was fake, but I had to. I just had to order them. I That's... think they're all fake. <laughs> so yours again was no. I, I, I'm going to switch the Trump and the nine eleven. No, I'm going to switch. Uh, yeah. Now I'm see. Uh, the more I think, it, you could think about it for days. It is real. <laughs> it's like there was something fake about the Trump thing. I just don't know what it was. There hasn't <laughs> been time to sort of sort it all out. But, you know, look, when it comes to 9-11, I mean, we do know that planes hit the Twin Towers, right? I mean, we can agree on that. Some of this, I mean, can we? I don't know if we can even all agree on that. I, I'm sorry, I, what were you saying again? I was, watching, I was listening to chat. Oh. My bad. That's no, why, no. That's why I can't do what chat. What are they saying? Well, the fake, what I'm saying is inconsequential. I'm curious well, what they're doing. Well, this is the little monkey wrench. Brian, 2172, says, fake to real, the Bubba, the last <laughs> poncho. The Calchas show, the Cholesterol show, and Ned in your head. Bubba the Last Poncho. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. I think it's just Bubba the Last Poncho show, the Calchas show, the Cholesterol show, and Ned in your head. That's interesting. So we're all, we're almost as real as the Ned show. Is that what? No, he's saying order those for. Oh, order those for. Bubba, Calta, Cluster F, and Ned, real, uh, fake to real. Cock fake to real. I'll do, it, I'll do it too. Hang Ned. Fake to real. <sighs> okay, I got it. okay. All right, so Fake to cuck, real. Okay. cal to hang, Ned in your head. All right, okay. hold on. Um, uh, fake to real. Okay, fake to real. Okay. <laughs> All right, I got it. All right. I got mine. Lay it on me. Um, fake to real. Fake would be the cuck. Yes, yeah, for sure. I got that. Um, <laughs> two would be Ned in your head. Oh, I went with Calta. <laughs> really? I did. Well, I only went with Ned in your head because... It's because it's fake. It's, yeah, it's... But, let's see, but the, 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 the truths that come out of the mouth, the truth that I spew, the gospel of Ned is real. It's from the heart. It's real. I don't lie. See, I don't lie. That's fair. Not, I don't lie. But I can certainly... I was. I was just going based on I a was, character. You know, struggling with that as well. Um, three, I went with Calta for the hang because obviously we're the most real thing out there. So. Oh, <laughs> he tossed cluster after the weeds and what was? Oh, the I hang. didn't hear cluster. I didn't hear cluster after no, the hang wasn't even in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so self-centered. Oh my god. The hang was not in I there. I didn't even. At all. I apologize. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I I thought the hang was in there. Because you're an egomaniac. Well, then I would put I would put the hang at um, at the or I'm sorry. The, <laughs> he's, like, he's obsessed cluster with Cluster F. I would put Cluster F is the realist. Yeah, that's what I. Because you have no reason too. not to be real. And plus, I'm I'm a terrible worker. Yeah, you are. I'm <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that kind of just you're right. Yeah, it's that's years of years of me not working. Up. You trying to work with me down in the studio, me being a horrible worker.
<laughs> and I have to nudge you or be like, oh. hey, give you the eyes or something. Yeah. Oh, I think, I mean, the most legendary one was, you know, I'm sitting there listening to the show, you know, it's a good, you know, it was this good segment with this lady calling in about Billy Mays. And I'm like, yeah, this is interesting. And you're like hitting me and you hit me and you give me a note that says, go call in and Billy Mays. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's a great idea. And I ran in there and called it. It was like, you know, it was a legendary, I forgot about that. It was a legendary bit, you know, it was like it was on the CD. Cause yeah. It was, and it's like, I'm just sitting there going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, character, character, come on. I, I mean, I think almost any time I called in. I was you, nudging you. You were like, and I was like, ah, yeah, I, <laughs> Ned's going to call in. That is so funny. You talk, <laughs> I completely forgot about that stuff, but you're right. I, yeah, we did used to have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We worked that angle quite a bit. Oh, it was, yeah, it was always, it was that, yeah. back in the day we did it, back in the, when we first started, the I don't know if you remember these. I was doing things like I would call in as Tommy Lee. From, oh, yeah. <laughs> you mean, I, had a, I had a cowbell in there. I was like, ow! Because a kid drowned in my pool. <laughs> little, right. sorry, little, little, little Tommy. Little and then buddy. you had like splash effects. Or something. <laughs> I think I did, I did a Jeopardy where, where it was Celebrity Jeopardy and Tommy Lee was there, but his buzz, everybody else had a buzzer and his was <laughs> cowbell. <laughs> I gotta remember to play that. I, you know where that is? I do. Uh, As a matter of fact, I got the cord. You got the cord? What do I do with it? I don't know. Do I plug it in the computer and it probably comes up like magic, right? Yeah, just like magic. Like magic. Like magic. Okay. Like I put, like Donna just told me I had a CD player in the in the computer, and I said, "Oh, it's five years," and I didn't know how to. She's like, "I told you." I was like, "Oh, I forgot." <laughs> and I was like, "What do you do? I put a CD in there. What happens?" And yeah. I, put, I put it in there. A little, I, little oh. monkey on a computer over here. <laughs> it, it comes up. It comes up. It's cool. Oh, any other feedback oh, been, on? Oh, we, oh, we got to submit. Uh, let's, let's see. Um, Fake to real. Dave, can, can, okay. Be, uh, no, you've already given your two cents. <laughs> um, that's it. Everybody, okay. That's all we got. Well, I'll tell you that's what. An, that, that's a very, uh, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm going to ask Trace and Don. That's a great question. I've got to put this on something I'll remember to see. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, yes, a post-it note. Yes, that'll that'll work uh, out great. Fuck off. Oh, it's, yeah. Organ, I'm not my strong suit. Eh. Follow through. <sighs> Creative types, man. It's like Berlin, you know, she is hard We're to... It's hard big to, idea guy. I'm an idea guy. Berlin's, <laughs> you know, she wants to go to be a vet. It's really hard to get into vet school. It took her years and years of just going, bam, bam, bam. And she finally got in, and I was like... I said, I'm glad you got more perseverance than your father. Because I would have tossed it in a long time ago. <laughs> Many animals would be dead. 9-11. JFK. JFK. Trump. Trump moon. Moon. That's, a, that's the good. trifecta plus one. That's yeah, a, man. Yeah, that's, <clears throat> when you think about it, that's a, you know, three pretty big things and, and that are probably fake. Which is, or, or some sort of that, setup or some sort of work, which is about the most disappointing thing That's why to even think about the possibility of any of it. And when you think about this Trump thing, you're like, well, it's, you know, nor, you should just think that, that some crazy guy tried to shoot Trump, but you're like, man, there's been so much fake shit lately that I don't know what to believe. And I don't think that's a, a wrong response. Yeah, it's true. Very true. All right, we're going to take a break. I guess we've been doing all right, uh, sounding all right for okay. I uh, haven't dropped off for a while. So I, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know. We uh, just keep on hanging. I'm, I, you know, I bet I could, I could bet I could go into advanced settings while I'm on the air. Look at that. I can. And let me go down to bind to IP. Wow, really, really pulling back the curtain here. It says that we're on default. Is that good or bad? That's kind of where I put it last time. <sighs> I don't even know it. Uh, you know, we're, we're on. We're on. We went long. Out of control. Yeah, we did. Uh, that's good stuff. All right, we'll be... Uh, oh, shoot. Hang on. Let me find something here. Oh, shit. I'm going to download. <laughs> All right. And we'll be... Oh, wait. This, uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> I got so much I want to do and say, man. It's just, it's just so much that I want to get to. We'll be right back with more of The Hang... Shot to the ear, the left's to blame. Lucky thing that nut had bad aim. You are fake dudes. Donald 
Trump's very, very large brain. Don't be rude. Mega hat upon his head. One inch to the right and old Trump would be dead. Trump went down. We watched him bleed. When you call someone Hitler, it's hate that you breathe. Whoa, we thought Trump was done. Whoa. Kill Trump, he'll bob and weave. Now more girls want Donald to grab their pussy. Whoa, we thought Trump was done. Whoa, shot him with a gun. He stood right back up and he gave a fist pump. Shot to the ear, the left's to blame. Lucky thing that none had bad he could have died right there on that stage. Lucky thing that none of that ain't. Lucky thing that none. You are fake news. He died like a dog. Wrong. He's rude. He's crude. He's a southern boy with a New York accent. He's Andrew Dice Foxworthy. You might be a redneck if your front porch falls down and kills more than seven dogs. Why, you f***ing your sister? Oh! He's a little bit country and a little bit rock and roll. You might be a redneck if you have more than four cars up on blocks in your front yard and you your sister and every one of them oh! Andrew Dice Foxworthy, the baddest mother south of the Mason-Dixon line. You might be a redneck 
If you go to the convenience store and you pick up a truck and buy a six pack of old Milwaukee, you can of Copenhagen, and while you're gone, your dad f your sister out! The Nashville Network proudly presents Andrew Dice Foxworthy. Dickery, dickery, doc! My sister was in my c. The clock struck in, my dad joined in, we f***ed her well past six o'clock. Oh! Andrew Dice Foxworthy. Mini Pearl, I f***ed her out! Oh! He's rude. He's crude. He's a southern boy with a New York accent. He's Andrew Dice Foxworthy. You might be a redneck if the primary color of your car is Bondo, which coincidentally is the color of your sister's pussy. Oh! He's a little bit country and a little bit rock and roll. You might be a redneck if you go to a family reunion to meet chicks and end up f***ing your Aunt Gladys and your sister, oh! Andrew Dice Foxworthy, the baddest mother south of the Mason-Dixon line. You might be a redneck if someone asks for your ID and you show them your belt buckle. Of course, first you gotta move your sister's head cause she's f***ing blowing you, oh! The Nashville Network proudly presents Andrew Dice Foxworthy. Mary had a little lamb who grazed upon the grass. Every night her brother f this little lamby ass. Ow! Andrew Dice Foxworth. Reba McIntyre can s my back to the hang hopefully the technical difficulties are behind us every day i'm in here and i'm thankful i'm thankful for the studio that fletch and drew put together for me then have allowed an incompetent man like myself to run it for five years with virtually no glitches. Oh my God, I'm so thankful. Well, it's that thing too. You don't want to unplug anything or plug anything else oh. in or like mess anything or up. Update like, anything. It's just like, okay. <laughs> Do you want to update? We're no. functional. <laughs> just keep it functional. Just keep working. Keep working. So hopefully that was just, oh, it says reconnecting. <laughs> Fuck me. Fuck me. I wonder if I can bind it. If, uh, if I bind to a different IP, IP it'll probably end the stream. So, you know, I, I apologize. It's not my fault. And uh, hopefully, it, we'll get Donna in here. Maybe she'll fix it later. Are, we, it are, be, are we incompetent? No. Are we the secret service of, of, of this, uh, podcasting? I am the secret service of podcasting. <laughs> but the, uh, the actual audio for the podcast and the video will be be fine yeah all right so just, then it's you just can... a live guy we're screwing the live guys right now so bum, 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 sorry bum. there ain't no live guys listening because we just ended it yeah we just got off now they got all got all come back you popping a rio and they're over it i'm popping a rio <laughs> i'm popping a rio how do you still have those did you buy more rios or is that Donna, the same original Donna case keeps buying ca oh no I, I drink a lot i'm you know i got a problem oh is that a rio or uh, no that's a oh, natty, it's a natty <laughs> light i'm so used to drinking rio you went with a natty light i like the old school can they brought back too i think it's pretty cool it, it's very it's very appealing in i opinion. can't for the life of me understand the uh, like the reason why the beverage companies do that they're like now we're going back to the <laughs> classic kids. it's like who like make it taste better if you can do something i mean natty light though i like don't get me wrong but i'm just it's saying all, in general it's all this i mean i just i don't have a refined beer palate oh did you see Hogan cracking that fucking uh, beer on stage with Jelly Roll? I did. We played it, yeah. Fucking. It's like, what a shameless Born porn. again. Not drinking anymore. <laughs> shameless. 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 The shameless huckster. The shameless huckster. The huckster. It should have been. <laughs> Huck Hogan. Huck Hogan. Yeah, the huckster. Huckamaniac. Huckamaniac. Huckamaniacs. <laughs> I'm going to sell you everything I can under the sun, brother. Anything and everything. <laughs> I think that's a care. I think somebody, somebody needs to grow a Fu Manchu and do a faux Hogan the Huckster. Oh, 
Yeah, see oh somebody, anybody, or, or Cuckster. What about the Cuckster? The Cuckster well, he's, uh. that's his arch nemesis. <laughs> he's the guy. And then the Huck versus the Cuck. <laughs> and then the Cuck can go in there looking all Jack blacked up, <laughs> and it's going to be epic. It's going to be epic. Oh, did you see that Jack Black shit? Yes. What kind of bullshit is that? I, like in terms of what though? What I mean. Because somebody makes a tasteless joke, you cancel your tour and end your end your future creative endeavors. What are you talking about? Well, I mean his his partner in crime there probably shouldn't have said it, right? Now, yeah, but it's, uh, but it's not that I don't I don't think anybody really gives a shit. It does. You know what I th I read. The people that go least, to Tenacious D are not going to care. Well, from what I gather, and again, I don't know this to be one hundred percent true. It was that the insurance company sort of dropped them for coverage right oh well, they so, had no choice but to cancel the tour. right so if something were to happen during one Why of the, the shows fuck is the insurance company dropping them for a bad joke not for a bad joke I, I think it has something to do with um like a, it, a a lot of events now and i can't remember the terminology but it's something like almost like a terrorist clause right you have to pay like this other insurance yeah and um so if something were to happen it falls under that umbrella you have that insurance to cover it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what they sort of slid out of going is, is like, hey, we're not going to cover these shows anymore because... Something's going to happen now. Yeah. You just triggered the nut jobs. Something along those lines. Yeah. Mm. I, I'm not 100% sure on that, but it's something along why those lines. Why wouldn't you say, if you're Jack Black, why wouldn't you, doesn't that look make you look better than I'm ditching my partner of the, all these years because he made a bad joke? Probably not if you're him. And he's a big Biden guy, too. He's a big Biden guy. Yeah, but if you're him, you can't... Like, what's the lesser two evils? Just say, hey, he shouldn't have said it. Sorry about that. I'm ending this. Or go, hey, we'd continue touring, but our terrorism insurance won't won't continue to have us on our policy anymore. Like, you know, it's probably an easier explanation just to go, hey, we're calling it a day. Calling it a day. Yeah. I mean, who gives a fuck about Tenacious D? Honestly, like, I know nah. you used to like them back in the day. Yeah, but I mean, I, they're a little long in the tooth now. Yeah, I like mean, they're. It seems like they really let let themselves go. Jack Black's <laughs> like a fat piece of crap now. It's like, come on, quit. It's, I don't even know what they do. Like, it's a band, right? It's of, yeah, it's like a, it's a parody band. Not not parody. It's a comedic band. All their songs are just comedic skits. Are they funny? Oh my god! But back in the day, that's you know that's. Who's funnier, you and your songs or Tenacious D? Um, I think Jack Black is funnier than I am. <sighs> Bro, you're insane. <laughs> I, I, do you, have you ever, I mean, he's, he's really, have you ever seen School of Rock, man? He's, that's not him being funny. That's him reading, <laughs> reading funny lines. Uh, yeah, he's, I mean, he's just better at delivering maybe than I am. I don't know. Okay, so I'm better than Jack Black. I would, I would make that <laughs> argument, yeah. But, I mean, it was like... It was funny for the time. I don't know where that was. Early 2000s. Yeah. Uh, and uh, my kids loved it. I used to play it for my kids Take every time I picked How them up. How old were your kids? Oh, they were in elementary school. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think Pedestrian, I, childlike I think humor. That, I still think those are good songs because they're not only like funny, but they're good. Like he did, he did um, the greatest song in the world. That's the one I know. I mean, he did it with the Foo Fighters. It's a good mm -hmm. song. You know, it's a really fucking good song. So I like his music. I mean, his comedy bits were just kind of funny. <sighs> but he really... Of all the people for sing. you to respect in entertainment, <laughs> I, Jack, Jack Black, Black I, I would have oh, ne never a, saw it. He's such a good actor, too. That doesn't count. As respecting him? It, it, well, I don't well, respect him as a person. I don't know him as no, a person. No, I mean, it doesn't count when people go, oh, he's, funny. he's really funny. Acting doesn't count. I don't think acting think necessarily it, counts. I think it does. A Cause little you, bit. Cause you can a put, little bit. Because I've seen p people who aren't funny try to act funny, and they're not funny. They put like Johnny Depp in a comedy, and it's like, but, and this sucks, because he's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure there's an argument to be said for both ways. But, you know, if you're, if you're shooting a scene 25 times, and you got to deliver the line 25 different ways... I'm sure one of those are going to be a funny way you're doing it. And then they're just piecing all that together. I don't know. I think you got to have the funny it factor. Stand up. That's where people are fun. That's how I gauge you.
If you're a stand-up you're, comedian, you're, sir, you're like a comedy snob. Yeah, you've only got you got certain parameters that must be fulfilled, and some that should not even count. Stand-up comedy, because yeah, if if you're an actor, okay, if, you if you're a read, funny actor, it's like you I still don't, might be reading someone else's exactly. material. I want to know the person behind that, right? That's probably the funny person is the 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 creative uh, I, funny. But, but I beg to differ. You can take a, you, you can beg to differ all you want. <laughs> you can take like. <laughs> Okay, you could take me okay. and put me in a skit, and I could do it 30 times, and it would never be as funny as when you put Ned in it. I understand where you're... I, I, I get <laughs> where you're Ned's saying. Ned's funnier, but... Uh, <laughs> he can, he's a funny actor. <laughs> who's, a, who's a funny actor that's... Like, what are funny actors right now? Like, for real? Well, that's a tough question now. Like, is, <laughs> Amy, is Amy Schumer funny? She used to be a little funny. <laughs> but why is she not funny now? I don't now? know. <laughs> it she is a become, weird one, right? She like, kind of became unfunny. Yeah. She, but Burt Kreischer, is he funny or not? Oh, man, just put your shirt on, dude. <laughs> Fuck. I don't, why do we got to see you? If your fat belly is your gimmick, I don't know how good your gimmick is, man. That'd be if like Bubba did the show without his shirt <laughs> I mean, wouldn't that be kind of <laughs> shitty? <laughs> Scars and stitches. <laughs> I mean... Or maybe we would have we would have been way bigger if he did the show that is you know because it's a gimmick people love the gimmicks man. <laughs> <You just> hear... <laughs> maybe I don't know. So does, uh, lather up, lather up. Does it ever stop with the Burt Kreischer? Can he like ever do a show without his shirt off? At this point, oh. I don't know if he'll be able to. I think <sighs> he's a bummer. He, he's been pigeonholed into being shirtless. I think people might be disappointed if they went to see him and he kept his shirt on the whole time. Oh, I think they'd be disappointed if they went to see him. Not necessarily <laughs> for that reason. Uh, he's not somebody that I really relate to. Not your cup of tea. Comedically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But Shane Gillis, man, that's that's my, that is my comedian. He does a pretty good Trump. Oh, God. He seemed to do the Trump. So great. Have you seen the show? He's in Tires. Yes. It's pretty good. We, we watched that. Yeah, I watched that. I, I binged it pretty pretty we, quick because they were short uh, episodes. We, it's six short episodes. So Don and I, we got on the couch, and we were like, all right, Trace told us to watch this, and it's going to suck. And we watched it, and for about five minutes, we are like, this kind of sucks. Let's give it some chance. They were like, eh, yeah, it's not bad. And then we watched all six episodes, and went, that was pretty fucking good. And isn't his name in the show, Shane? I think so. And every line he delivers and, and everything he's doing – you can totally just be like, oh, that just looks like Shane Gill is just doing his everyday thing. Like, I don't think there's any any change in he just in any of it. He just doesn't give a fuck. It's, it's great. like the, the ultimate I don't give a fuck persona. Which would be disappointing when they start having to give a fuck, right? And and it's like, oh, man, it ruins the, ruins the gimmick. I hope he never does that. I hope he never... Goes all right. I could, I could, uh, I could get a ten million dollar movie deal, oh, and I on. just got to level out a little bit. I hope I'd level that doesn't out, happen. I'd level out for ten mil for sure. You wouldn't level out for oh, ten mil. Me, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, Mike, you've already been paid tens and tens of millions tens of dollars. Of, so. Tens of millions of dollars. <laughs> you've, you've already climbed that mountain. I have climbed that mountain. <laughs> I'm, I'm number three behind behind Bezos. <laughs> Bezos, I lo I love his wife though. I do his fiance. Oh, she's like a pump plastic, I, big, big ass bloated lips. I bitch. love you like that little, them big ass bloated lips. I, that little sex pot. Oh man, uh, to me she's steamy. I know it's uh, she's too much work. I don't hate that work look. Oh, she is built for speed, man. Like I don't a know cat lady. I, I will admit it's probably going to go too far. Uh, she's probably getting I think she, yeah, she's pretty close now, man. But uh man, I I love it. For some reason, it's like a natural beauty. Well, and the messed up part is I look at her and I'm like, "Oh, that is a sexy older woman, right?" To me. How old is she? I have no idea how old she is. How I, old is he? I have no idea how old he is. He's like getting close to 60 maybe or 50 Seven. Okay, let me see here. Let me. How old do you think she is? Forty-three. Okay. See, here is what sucks. You think she's forty-three. I think she's fifty-five. She, I, All I right. Just spit, yeah, spitting numbers. Um, forty-three, fifty-five. So he, she's fifty-four. So how old is he? He's. A, I can't believe a guy like no, him. I'm gonna guess he's sixty. What are you guessing? Yeah, he's sixty. 60. Yeah. 
But my thing is, I'm looking at her, and she's 54, and I'm looking at her like she's this sexy older woman, right? I'm like, oh, that is an, that is an old sexy woman. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going, oh, dude. she's in my peer group. Yeah. It ain't that far yeah. off, dude. It's not like I could very well <laughs> be single and dating a 54-year-old. Um, but true. in my brain, I think of myself as like That's this 21 year old, you know, That's how you do. And then you see on TV people dying that are, you know, <laughs> maybe like 10 years older than you. You're like, what? Oh my God. It yeah. always, it happened last week. I had a, yeah. a, somebody I knew pass and didn't know him great, but found out about it. It's a terrible thing. But my only thought was like, okay, was it a heart attack or was it self-inflicted? Because if it's self-inflicted, it makes me feel a little better. <laughs> yeah. And it's wrong to think. But when people start dropping from heart attacks and stuff my age or cancer and all that, then you're going, oh, shit. But if it's a yeah. tragic car accident or self-inflicted, you kind of go, oh, all right. That doesn't count. It doesn't count for, for my age bracket. Yeah. You know? I, I just went to the doctor yesterday. First time in like six years. Ooh. I just get How'd it a, go? Kind of a physical deal. It went pretty good. And she, she took my blood pressure. She said, excellent, excellent blood pressure. And I, the best thing is just, you know, usually if I, if I, I said, you know, I don't have health insurance. So mm -hmm. any of these things that I tell you is wrong with me, I'm not going to get anything <laughs> done with them. I just want to get your opinion on sure. them. Sure. <laughs> I'll go to the doctor and I'll ask and then I'll bring the information back to you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> By proxy insurance. <laughs> And she, you know, so that way everything she said was, well, you know, and she was much more, it's probably nothing. Whereas opposed, otherwise it'd be getting like three MRIs. Oh, I see what <laughs> And you a mean. colonoscopy. Uh, she's like, here's the Cologuard. Here's the, you know. Are you doing like, Cologuard? I don't know. I probably won't do it. But she told you, I was just like, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I rolled it. <laughs> I, I'm a dice roller, man. I'm a dice roller. Uh, I roll it. Some of that's good. I mean, exercise is all you need, man. I'm just keep exercising and like Jack Lalane. Whatever happens, happens, man. Well, what what did she say? Uh, was there anything, anything serious or anything that you're? No. And then I had like I got a pain in my left side. I've had it for like seven months. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while, for a couple of days, I go to the right side. <laughs> <laughs> and I told her, I said, one time I had a pain in my right side for twenty years, and I went to the doctor multiple times, had multiple scans, and they could never figure it out. And then it just went away. So I'm not really concerned about it. She said, well, we'll do some blood work, and if nothing, you got nothing wrong with your liver or anything, I'm sure you're fine. Whereas if I hadn't have told her I didn't have insurance, she'd be going, well, here's what we got to do. Right. <laughs> I see. So it's almost on some uh, level you think it's better that you... Yeah, because that's what I want to hear is, that's probably nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. I'm, well, that, that, I'm that guy that illogical. That gets my wheels turning because I'm walking out of there with all <laughs> kinds of appointments. I'm going, I just, how come I've got so many appointments I have to go to? I'm that guy that feels like if you don't get tested for it, it doesn't exist. You're not going to get it. If I go to, you know, if I go to the dermatologist to see about skin cancer, they're going to take six scoops out of my back and, yeah. You know, they, Hey, sun, for years the sun was good for you, man. <laughs> sun was always good for me. Man, I think the sun is good for you. I think skin, how many times, it's been at least two to three times that they've recalled sunscreens in the last five years for cancer-causing elements. Yeah, yeah. So I just go out there and lay, I just do, if I go to the beach, for you, back, <laughs> back in the day when they, it wasn't $10,000 a week to go to the beach, we go to the beach every year, and the first day, 15 minutes. Next yep. day, half an hour. And third day, you're pretty much good. Yeah, you're lathering yourself up with baby oil, <laughs> yeah, trying to get, get more sun oh, as quickly as possible. I mean, I know, you, you know, the huckster <laughs> has got a lot of problems, but he had one, the one true thing he ever said was, tan fat looks better than white fat, it's, brother. It's, it's, the very, it's oh, very true. When I'm... I just do it for myself. Yeah. So when I look in the mirror, when I'm tan for this, like three months a year, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Looking good. <laughs> How bronzed out. It, says it takes away all that fat, Ugh. that white fat, man. It's brutal looking. It's brutal looking. I had to go to the dermatologist. This is a few years back. I had this like little, little like thing on my nose. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get it removed. It was like a spot. I was like, I don't know what's going on with it. Right. So I went there. They uh, take it off and then they. <laughs> You'd send it off for a biopsy, yeah. whatever it is they biopsy. do. But then the lady goes, all right, and we're let's get you looked over here to make sure the rest of you is good. 
And I'm going, oh, I wasn't expecting this at all. And I don't know about you. Do you have like a favorite pair of underwear? Uh, <laughs> you know, you had for a long time. Maybe has some holes in it. abso fucking lootly. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm thinking of that pair of. I got it right now. It's on the. It's it's only got a cut. It's getting a big tear right on the top of the waistband. It's, Which is it's like, about that long. And it's, I got, I, it's like, how do you save it? I've only got two or three more wears, and I savor those wears. Oh, Your it's the best. Your favorite ripped underwear. I feel you. I had my favorite ripped underwear. I was not expecting <laughs> that I'd have to strip down to my underwear. I was for, just thinking. For a dermatologist. Yeah, right? Is that what <laughs> Yeah, dermatologist. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I got the, the, the thing on my nose biopsy taken off. Yeah, and then she goes, okay, well, we're going to be a, 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 a once-over. And she goes, um, just get down to your underwear, and that's fine. I'm going, oh, my God. Not only did I have my favorite pair of underwear that had a oh. giant hole in the ball sack. I mean, they're hanging oh, out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I had them on inside out. So <laughs> oh, it was like a that's, nightmare. That's not good. That's not. Oh, it was a and nightmare. And even though it's not that big of a deal, she doesn't really give a shit. She might go home and tell her husband about the guy with the backward underwear. <laughs> I, I had... <laughs> But it was my 9 11. It, it's you're, it, the whole time you're just like, oh, so embarrassing. God. And then on top of it, the room is super bright with those like just the brightest fluorescent lights that you can have. And then, you know, I got freckles everywhere. So then she's taking this thing, a little microscope thing, and going over every inch of. She go over your ball sack? <laughs> I don't know, but I was, it was a really embarrassing. But I missed. A, after that, I, I went home and I threw out the underwear. I go, I can't risk this ever happening again. I don't want to get in a car accident and then the, come save me. And yeah, I don't know. When I went to the, I went to the doctor yesterday, and I it was a for a physical, and I'm you know I'm getting up there in age, so I, I I took a shower beforehand so I could wash my ass <laughs> in case there was swamp ass. <laughs> just in case, well, in case there was. A oh, a pro proctal? A proctal. It's like, I don't, you know, you don't want to be, you know, you want it nice and clean. I said, I'm respectful to the doctor. <laughs> but they did, they didn't, they just do a blood test now. They didn't even do it. Really? And I was like, oh, good. Because that's the worst feeling driving home. It's like, I can't imagine how a rape victim feels as you drive home <laughs> and you have the gooey stuff seeping into your, your favorite pair of ripped underwear. Bro, it's I, disgusting and humiliating. I couldn't agree with you more. And it's like they use that that lube, right? Which is fine and good. I get it. And then, um, yeah, you pull back your pants, you leave, and it's still there. I remember pulling over to a gas station. Oh. I think it was, and I went in there and took paper towels, and I was like, I got to. I did the walk of shame. Did the walk of shame? Cleaned it out. Got back in the car, and I was like, it's still there. Like it. it I had, it wouldn't it wouldn't disappear with uh, nine paper towel wipes <clears throat> still they, hanging I, around. I think they use an excessive amount, <laughs> an excessive amount. I'm polite of them, <laughs> of lube. <laughs> yeah, we we went out again. I don't know. Oh, I don't man. know what to tell you guys because I can't really do anything now. <laughs> I just can't. I mean, we're streaming. We're in the middle of streaming, and it keeps. I don't know why it would keep. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's never happened before. Unwa yada ma yada mf or unwatch. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? I've been doing this for five years. Can and they we, even hear you when you're telling them this and apologizing? They probably can't. So fuck off. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> they, they even know what's happening. This has happened like like four times in like. Five years. It's it's an anomaly. But, and, uh, but Mike, it's a credit to the show that they they are up in arms. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, this is the yeah the, they're outraged. There's civil unrest. They're, they're dying to hang. They can't get their hang. They're not getting their hang fixed. And we apologize. I mean, I, I I'm apologized. It's not me. I'm, I don't have a jamming system in the back room and I'm intentionally jamming my own show like somebody else would do. <laughs> apologize. Where's you you got to shed out back with some uh, some meters in there. Yeah, I I have an imaginary rating system, and I'm trying to cheat, <laughs> cheat to cheat myself to the top, because Ned keeps beating me. We're gonna have so many Twitch viewers. <laughs> oh, did you say Twitch? You say Twitch? Let me see my see my latest project. Let me check it out. 
What? What do you mean your latest book? I, I immediately did a Trump song. Trump, oh, you mean TikTok? Trump get, yeah, what did I say? Twitch? Yeah, TikTok. Oh, it doesn't show up on... It's so weird. It only shows up on my phone. I don't know. How, I don't know what... I can't get into my account, <laughs> but it... <laughs> and it only shows up on my phone. <laughs> You know, you and technology. Oh, my God. I, I just want to be the guy that just sits here and talks, man. I don't want to be doing all this shit. That's not my forte. I'm, I, I've, I'm admit, the name of the show is Clusterfuck. I'm admittedly incompetent. You can't be Thomas Edison, you know. Maybe he couldn't, you know, mow his lawn. I this is know. the best therapy <laughs> session. You're just groveling. Just like, please. Please, I, I have certain gifts I can't do it. and I have certain inadequacies. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Uh, all right. Well, all right. I mean, what look, we're talking about my TikTok, which I can't get you. I have to get my phone. Well, what? So, so you? Uh, oh, it's. I uh, did a Trump song, and uh, it was. Oh, it was. It was going to be a another one. It was going to be another big hitter. Another then, one. And then they took it down after like five hours. Cause who knows why? Because they do that shit. And, and it kind of took the momentum. I mean, it was, go, it was going gangbusters. Okay. And then they, you know, Berlin petitioned and they gave it back. And then it's doing really well, very gradually. But now it's just um, organically because before they would promote, you know, they, they were yeah. putting it somewhere. And so now it was taken down, then put back yeah. up, but, but throttled. But now it's uh, for, uh, you know, 400000 That's not bad. See, I'm jaded. Now I'm like, f if I'd ever gotten 400000 in my life, I'd be going, oh, my God. Now I'm like, well, it's not the $5 million I got last <laughs> week, but 400000 is pretty fucking good. <laughs> Man, that is good. I just, I just don't, I don't know. I'm stupid. If I think I should just be able to take the comments from my top three videos and send them send them to someone and say, "Let me make someone money. <laughs> I'm good. People love this shit. How make how you make money from this? No one else doing this." <laughs> Mike is ranting, ladies and gentlemen. He's ranting. I don't even know how you know. I don't even know how to do to do none of that shit. <laughs> you know. It moves so quick. It moves so... I, what was I looking at last week? It was uh, an old video somebody put up uh, from, from Vine. Remember Vine? Yeah, yeah. I mean, think about how quickly that was yeah, TikTok, hot and TikTok gone. TikTok will be gone soon enough. You know, so it's like you, you, you learn that skill set or whatever, and you, you go all in on that platform, and then there's just and another one that takes everybody away from you. Yeah. Uh, it's a dirty game. Hey, uh, thanks for being back, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And we're back. Are we back? Lynn Carr says, seems to be better if you use audio-only mode. So everybody who's still listening, audio-only mode. And we'll try to figure it the fuck out. Uh, I don't know, tomorrow before the show. Fuck. 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 You do one of those. I'm sorry. Apologies. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Man, I need an apology. There's a lot of those. So sorry. Yeah. Let me apology to Greenstein after you motherfucked him for a couple of years. That's a that's a great idea. After I did Greenstein's, I had to redo all the Brent st Brent songs. I can't even remember. Was it pro or anti Greenstein? I don't even remember. What do you think? Anti. <laughs> Good call. Yada M M M F -er says shitty internet. Uh, probably and trust me, we've tried to get. Uh, you can't get good internet. You can't get good service from these fucking giant cable companies. They can't. They come to my house. They can't fix the problem. They're just like the same. Fuck. <laughs> Starlink. Uh, Got to get Starlink. Get Starlink. Are you on Starlink? No, I'm not. It's too expensive <laughs> for me. I, I can't. Sp uh, how much is Starlink? Okay, so. Uh, to buy the system, you can buy like a. They have refurbished systems for like four or five hundred bucks or whatever. So it's yeah. basically just the, the, little, the little setup. Uh, and then I think internet service, it's 120 or 150 a month for Starlink. Yeah. But the problem is, this is where they get you. Is, but that's like the best. The best. It's the best because there's like no latency and it doesn't go out. It's because it's up in the sky. Right. And, um, and then I'll, get, I'll do that. I'll, I'll switch to Starlink, and then the Russians will blow up the Starlink. <laughs> so, I mean, we are not on the air. Sorry. Yeah, what's going on? Why can't we uh, catch us on podcast? Yeah, the Starlink thing is 
supposed to be really great. But this is where, as you know, those those companies get you. It's like, okay, Spectrum. All right, yeah, we got your internet, but we also got your cable bundle. So yeah, you could get Starlink and spend one twenty or one fifty a month on or whatever. But then in order to get any of your channels back, you got to have a separate Spectrum package. Oh, you got to get the apps because it, everything's on a different. App. It's fucking. They've ruined entertainment. Yeah, if I could have gotten, <laughs> if I could get Starlink without being tied into anything else, I absolutely would. But they bundle you. I'm all bundled up. Boy, you take that bundle and shove it up your ass. Except for home auto and, and uh, whatever. They won't bundle me. We were bundled. You get a guy code there. I, th- I think we, oh, I don't remember where. Flo says she'll bundle you. She says it. She says it on the commercial. They've, she's going to bundle you. Whatever the company was that says they'll bundle you. They won't bundle you. Uh-uh. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we got you on, on this and this, but you're home. Sorry, buddy. Can't bundle you. Yeah, Therefore, yeah. you lose your bundle discount from the last house, and uh, you're on your own. I can't figure out what's going on in Florida because they're raising the insurance rates so much that it's, it's, it's untenable to live here anymore. And I was like, what? I don't understand. So who's going to move down and pay those rates? It's, it, it's, it's preposterous. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what. I'm sure there's some method to the madness. I don't think I there don't is. What, it's just the way, yeah, that, uh, I'm foolish to think that they know what's going on. I'm yeah. like, oh, they know what's going on. They don't know. They're just like, me, you're stealing money and hoping everything stays this is good. That's what it is. You're right. And then they'll go, every year they'll go, well, we're expecting a big hurricane season this year. And, you know, uh, insurance rates are, expect them to go up because of, uh, and then the night, and then you'll, you won't get any hurricanes here right yeah but then the next year they go well we had a less than exciting hurricane mm-hmm. season last year which means that this year it's going to be even more active in the gulf which we're expecting uh, i it, it's just angle after angle and, and yeah i you know i dig deep on these things matthew go on the whole insurance thing in florida it's because the insurance companies they were playing a big shell game and they were taking all the money that we were giving them and they were giving it to these subsidiaries, which weren't doing nothing. Mm-hmm. And they were just rape, and then they raped those companies. And th- then they're like, "Hey, we lie, we ain't making no money." And it's, and then so we got to raise the rates. Be, and it's all just because of corporate greed. You know, obviously the po- the how po- you know, left or right, those decisions do make mo- uh, change the economy. But a lot of it is corporate greed. And they've bought our politicians, and they're going to screw us till the cows come home. And I don't know what you do about it. I don't know. Even down to, like, the McDonald's $5 meal deal that everybody's making a big deal about, right? And McDonald's like, we're bringing back the $5 meal meal deal for a limited time only. And when you do that on a forum like X, you're going to get roasted because the average person is just going to post their thoughts and feelings on your McDonald's $5 meal deal for a limited time only. And one of the best ones I saw was you guys made $25 billion last year. You tell me you can't have this all the time. It's just for a limited time only. Like it was those little things, those comments of, of, of truth. Yeah. Just little, little 140 characters of of shining nuggets of truth, shining the light. Yeah. Reality. But you see, Capitalism, you know, is the greatest system in the world for a couple hundred years. Then it gets perverted. And the stock market is a big f- fucking scam. And these corporations don't give a shit about you or their product or anything. They just care about making money. And, and that's all it is. It, the, the, they could easily keep the prices lower. But then they wouldn't be able to pay a dividend to their shareholders. And that's Which all, you need a goddamn dividend. That's all it is. <laughs> so, it's, yeah, I mean, if I had the stock, I'd want the dividend. But, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's an effed up system. It's, it's Buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin. That's right. I haven't been keeping track lately. Is it up or down? Uh, it's, yeah, I mean, you're in it for the long haul. Yeah. Uh, I think it's like it's 64 right now. Probably somewhere around that range. It's a crapshoot. Yeah, sixty four. What are they? Dipped yeah. a little bit. I couldn't tell you what's going to happen. Who's going to win the election? What's going to happen in the next three and a half months? 
This is this is the kicker. They kicked it off with an assassination attempt. What's going to happen next? They get it, the the news cycle doesn't get less and less. It gets more shocking and more shocking. So what's going to happen? Yeah, you're right. If this was an action movie, typically they'd save that part for, for the, the end. Yeah, that'd be like a, they Octo- started October off the movie. 25th would be the set, right? Yeah. Yeah, they started off with the bang, so to speak. We got to follow it up with something big. Well, they try to follow up with the Iranian uh, assassination plot. What? Um, well, they nobody said was, that nobody was buying it though. Nobody's buying it. Nobody, that. Bought, nobody no. bought, bit on it. No, nobody bit. Everybody's like, yeah. So what? That that still doesn't explain the twenty year old on the ladder the other day. Like that doesn't, that doesn't explain anything. Anyway, son. Uh, Jamie the plumber said, "Can you see my comments? What do they say, Jamie?" He says. Uh oh, are we in trouble? I uh, yes, I can hear you. <laughs> I don't I don't you know, I don't I don't know. I'm conf- I'm so confused. Clearly he can't see my com- What's your comments? Maybe the comments are not there. I got the video crisp. I can hear you. Yeah, but we keep cutting out. <laughs> so with all this it's technology that we have nightmare. in here and, and we're still cutting out and the audio is not great right allegedly they, but you're telling me the moon landing is that all, everything is crisp and clear no problems no troubles i was watching a clip <laughs> clip of what's the guy the, the, the most famous actor neil armstrong and, and he's like <laughs> on david letterman david Letterman, you know and we saw the videos of you guys on the moon he's like no you didn't <laughs> he said you saw an am- animation and his thing is they went we went to the moon yeah well, you didn't see it. Yeah, you they know, had to do. We had to make movies about it because you. It's 1969. Yeah. We're not broadcasting from the moon. What are you talking about? <laughs> Which at this point, I would totally. Well, I wouldn't respect it if they came out and told us because that just means they've been lying for uh, so many years. But at the same time, nobody really cared. Everybody, like at this nobody point, nobody could give a y- fuck. Now. You would just go look, guys. We did go. But we also had to get some some footage because it was very important to the morale of the country and the nation and everybody wants to see this thing and if we didn't show that it wouldn't have had the same impact all right okay nobody would care shitty but not but, yeah. not the end of the world we can deal with that okay what was that 60 to 65 years ago mm. what if they came out right now and said look you know we're trying to you know make ourselves look good better than the russians and we got Stanley Kubrick, you know, and we fucking pulled the work. And it worked out really good. But what are people going to do? I don't think you, anybody would care. Nobody would care. Oh. So it, would, it would just they all keep it. Would, maybe they intentionally keep it out there so people are always worrying. Yeah. I don't know. Some people I, would just feel reaffirmed in their beliefs or reassured in their beliefs. And other people wouldn't give a, give a damn. It would be the, it, the ones who would really care would be the ones that have been studying the subject for the last 40, 50 years and have spent their entire life gathering all this info and, 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 and being told that they're crazy. They would be the ones that would uh, walk away going, huh, I was right this whole time. But that, you know, other than that, nobody would care. Nah, nobody would care. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Clear you can't have a comment. Fiber literally just put in a utility pole between all existing poles on what? Pfizer is he saying Pfizer? He's saying fiber instead of Pfizer. No, what what's fiber? fiber? Fiber cable? Okay, fiber literally just put in a utility pole between I guess maybe that is that a company fiber? No. <laughs> and fiber is coming here. What does that mean? Oh fiber oh maybe even, it is a company. I don't know. Do I have fiber optics here? I don't even know. I don't know what I got, people. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everybody's mad at me. I just I'm trying, trying, trying my best. My so TikTok, I can't sorry. get on my TikTok. It's a fucking disaster. Technology's it's not, train it's not your friend. Donna said the best thing that could have ever happened to us would be on at Y2K if it had wiped out all the computers, because <laughs> it's destroyed humanity. It's just I, the people. The self-absorbed new generations coming out, it's like you know, narcissism doesn't work if everybody's a narcissist. You know, there's a good 5% of people who are narcissistic sociopaths, but when 60, 70% of people are narcissistic, then you got you fucking got a shitty-ass society. There's a whole thing in the future, everybody will be famous for 15 minutes, uh, and that's kind of... 
and they shouldn't. What it is. And they shouldn't be. Yeah, they shouldn't be. <laughs> it's like oh, All, they shouldn't be. Although I do love the internet because uh, you know I, I find f- funny stuff. Okay, I got one. Mm-hmm. If you have your email uh, available, I said I don't. I was thinking about it because the uh, the national anthem the other night from that that girl. Oh my god, atrocious, atrocious, right? And she's you know saying she's in rehab or whatever. And I did, um, I've done the same thing. Can't get the fucking rehab immediately. Yeah, just go to rehab to avoid the public comments. Even if you don't have any problems, just go there just oh, to geez. just to lay low. Like even the mainstream media was roasting her. Yes, I mean every everybody was like, "Yeah, <laughs> she's getting roasted by the nice the nice morning anchors are going to roast you now." Yep. And then last night, uh, country star Cody Johnson sang the national anthem before the all-star game how was that tremendous uh, <laughs> i mean is that what i'm watching here it is was this great it, is this what i'm look, clicking the national anthem this one is a guy and i don't know if you've ever seen this one or not this is a guy who's really trying but he <laughs> just kind of forgets the words yeah i don't know if you've seen this one or not. i don't know if i have it's so good <laughs> this poor soul by Gage Charles. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's light. Got a decent voice. A little too much vibrato for my for my liking, but so not, far not, ba- after not bad at all. Last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars were so gallantly <laughs> there as the rockets <laughs> were there <laughs> and the twilight's last gleaming and the rockets gl- red glare <laughs> We're so gallantly there, <laughs> burst stripes were all there, <laughs> and the rock. The best thing is he, he keeps the tune. <laughs> He's got the tune exactly, and he. <laughs> <laughs> they were all there. This should be. The, this should be. We should play this to open every. Yes. Every show. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. And the rockets <laughs> were there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet glaze? <laughs> I mean, he had it. He had it. Banner yet glaze. He had it. Why did he? I mean, what? He, well, he had it. You'll see after he's done with it, <laughs> the look on his face is priceless because he knows he just effed it up. Like he's he uh, knows it. I would give this guy a standing ovation oh, for this. It's answer. So good. <laughs> An earn yet glaze <laughs> for the land of the free Woo. and the home of the brave. Now watch his face. <laughs> <laughs> But he's all uh, in. He, I mean, uh, yeah, I appreciate the stick to itiveness. Oh. He just wrote it out to the end, no matter Dude. how bad it was going to be. And the world oh. there. Oh, that's classic. It's so good. That's 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 the new show opener. Right there. <laughs> that's good stuff. I'm good with that. Uh, all right, well. All righty, all righty. I'm all well. laughed out, my man. <laughs> oh, well, we got another hour to go. Oh no. <laughs> Well, thanks to the eight people sticking with us. <laughs> uh, vote for us on the uh, BOTV. Uh, yeah, the, the yeah, best sure. uh, intermittent podcast <laughs> in the Bay. Go to, go to <laughs> BIPTB.com. We are actually broadcasting from the moon, which is why you're not getting... It's they don't, yeah we don't have broadcast capability from the moon you morons what do you moon. think why do you expect to even listen to it <laughs> you're lucky to be even looking at yeah, it yeah we're on the moon for God's sake <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in to the hang <laughs> I mean we, we need to check it out because what's the anniversary of the hang 
August? Uh, no, no. I'll, I'll look into it's, it. It's not, it's not later than August. For sure. Wow. It might even be July. Late we were gonna, July. I thought we were going to call it quits after a year. <laughs> I was just being rash. Oh. Oh, did, did we agree on that? I thought we did. No. Oh. I said that last time, last week, and you said, no. You were vehemently, again, you were shocked that I said that. Oh. I already planned for this thing to be oh, ending in a year. one year and done. A one-year contract. All right. Oh, wow. We need to figure it out because I'd be sad if this was like the last show and I call you up and go, hey. <laughs> and you're like, no, we're done. I'm like. One-year contract's oh, expired. What? Click. What time? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'll look at right. the Well, hey, you know, we didn't really, you know, this isn't a fitting end to the hang, but nice for Thanks for listening. Uh, nice hanging with nice you. Hanging with you and have a nice life, Matt. You too. And I get download you, us on Spotify. And yeah, I don't even know if there'll be an OT this week. Bum, bum, it's a big bummer. Check us out on cholesterolfshow.com. OT. <laughs> See ya.